sacrifices we make in war. I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. It was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been, how being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. They must be fairy and goods to Labyrinthos. Wait, is Labyrinthos that other zone that we saw that was like underground that I suspected was on the moon, but other people suspected more realistically <laughs> was under Shirelaya? A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. That knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Wait, didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going more than usual? Well, I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. And gleaners answer to the forum. If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the forum is planning. I gotta get to finish eating. I totally thought that as soon as I saw the boats. I was like, oh, this is what they were talking about. But apparently Alistair was a little slow to pick that up. <sighs> Labyrinthine descent. Oh, we're gonna go straight there. Okay, Alistair is excited to share your revelations. We should tell the others what we've learned about the gleaners. Go on ahead to Numenon and I'll join you in a moment. Master Dickon will want his cups back. I was wondering if we could bring those cups back. I'm glad they, uh, <laughs> I'm glad they covered that. Oh, what is this quest up here? Because I need to unlock stuff. I don't know what I need. Oh, a gleaner. Oh, okay. What is, what do you do? I'll just want to see what the reward is. Oh. Hmm. Was that the one? I think this quest is the one it told me I needed to do to unlock hunts. I think. Whatever, I'll do that some other time. Where am I going? Let's head this way. The person's name Great Googly Googles. Oh, I did see what you said, Winder. I just didn't like acknowledge it because I was muted. But they did, they did confirm where it is. I'm sad. I wanted it to be on the moon. Where am I? Oh God. Apparently I need to go up here. <laughs> All right. See Cryo. Let's talk to Yushchola first. My loyal assistant returns! There's a lexicon on the first floor that I need you to- Ah, you found something, haven't you? <laughs> Where's Al- 
Jealousy? I thought she was with you. Yeah, she's coming. Graha, can you be, uh... Is that coffee I smell? Did I miss the tea break? Yeah, yeah, you did. Alright. Voice acted? Nope. Welcome back, Ari. Been for a walk and cleared your head, have you? Not exactly. We did some impromptu investigating and turned up information on the gleaners. Wow, what a perfect circle we make. It makes sense. The gleaners take the request directly from institutions and bureaucrats, but as you say, they ultimately answer to the forum. A sudden and significant increase in gleaner traffic and cargo. It certainly gives the impression of an overarching plan being put into motion. Let us see what theory we can build from the facts. As Yashola observed earlier, the Numenon's archives appear to contain no information concerning the final days. Coupled with what Ari and Alice say learned at the last stand, we can be reasonably sure that most Charlayans know nothing of that particular period of ancient history. Yet my father and his colleagues are not only familiar with the final days, but yet also somehow certain that the destruction is being perpetrated by the Tlaferoi is wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. Moreover, the forum claims to be so occupied by the duty of such pressing importance that they saw fit to unanimously deny Eorzea's request for aid. And now the Gleaners, official agents of the state, have been mobilized on an unprecedented scale. Do not think it a stretch to conclude that the Gleaner's recent activities in the servants are in service to the Forum's secretive ends. In which case, our next course of action seems obvious. We visit Labyrinthos and assess the situation for ourselves. And if we're lucky, the Gleaner's will be far more receptive to our questions. <laughs> what a fine idea, Arthas. What a fine idea. What should we expect down there? Anything would be better than burying my head in another dusty book. What should we expect down there? Hello, silly butt. What can I do for you? No, you don't want to scratch your chin. Oh, I would hate to spoil the surprise. Arthas, don't steal my, my food. Arthas, you're in the way. Can you move? Can you move your little butt? Thank you. Oh, yes, you can lay there. I will pet you and love you. As for myself, there are a few more subjects I should like to research. I may join you later, but feel free to leave behind your board books and be on your way. I'll see to it that each is returned to its proper place. That would be a great help. Thanks, Raha. So Graha's not coming with us. Let's head down the stairs over there, and I'll show you where the entrance is. Um, where is Santa's? Oh, randomly around here. Ready? Labyrinthos is not too far from here, but you may find the path a bit disorienting. I'll take the lead, so stay close. Follow Alice and try not to follow behind. Alright, I want to look at on the map. Off we go then. Are you going? Oh dear god, can you go a little faster? My god. This guy is totally uh, following her too. What are those wings? Those are really cool. Holy Knight's armor. Now we run. Try to keep up. Okay. Thank god. Keep the path straight ahead. I thought this was supposed to be confusing. We cross this bridge. Up here, up, up where? Oh, this way, okay. 
Is it gonna be like here? The Rastra, not far now. I thought you said it was nearby. We were literally like on the opposite side. Oh, here we are, through this door and down the stairs. You did remember to attune to the shard back there, didn't you? It will make your life much easier if you need to come back in a hurry. Otherwise, we should keep moving. Yep, no, I attuned. Don't you worry. Alright, so we can go. I did not come up here. Um, so I'm not positive. But yeah, okay, I did see that there was a zone line. Did it, does it say what it's for? No. Let's go clear this chocobo keep. Ah, oh, somebody has the same idea. Oh, his wings are gone. I wonder if that was a, um, like a firework thing. Well met, traveler. No. No. Nothing. Okay, done. Yeah, let's say. You didn't take the wrong turn into the roster there, did you? I doubt the forum would take kindly to you barging into a private session. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't. How did the forum learn the final days, and exactly how much do they know? More to the point, what do they intend to do about it? Hopefully they answered at least one of these questions lies below. I've not been to Labyrinthos in a long time. Even as a student, my visits were few and far between. <sighs> Welcome to the Hall of Artifice. Should you be looking to descend to Labyrinthos, the lift here will take you there. We're he all here now, yes? I've taken the liberty of securing permissions for our group's descent. Right, everyone to the lift and down we go. Deep beneath the scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. In any age exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves. And this vault's architects surely belonged to that special breed. If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first, and then bit by bit, a profound transformation. Knowledge buried beneath knowledge, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there is no escape. Not what you expected. I must admit, the artifice is very convincing. But I assure you that we are beneath Charlian itself. The breeze you feel, the flowing waters you hear, all created by the hand of man. The island is volcanic, you see. And once upon a time, this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma. It was discovered some 400 years ago, at which point it was repurposed as a storage facility for scrolls and samples and such. Renovations have continued, with nigh on no interruption to this day, with the lower levels still undergoing expansion. Aren't those people gleaners? Probably. Aye, judging by their dress. They are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. Winter, you were saying the wings are a fashion accessory? How do you... Do they work like... I don't know, like the umbrellas do? 
like the angel wings. I mean, I have an outfit that has angel wings. And I have... <laughs> I have uh, fireworks that are angel wings. I didn't know I have, like, actual angel wings. Uh, did I get things and then just not understand what I'm doing, what they are? It may be as you suspected, but they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Sounds about right. Let's spread out and get some answers then. Did you call to me just now? Nope. Did Heidelin call me? Hear, feel, think? No. How odd. I must be a bit dizzy from the descent. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? I have arrived. I really wanted this place to be on the moon. I'm disappointed. What is this music? You need to know what I'm doing. Hauling books and ore and fauna. If it needs hauling, I haul it. Every decorative so they take stock in labyrinthos. You know, sort of and tidy up this inventory. Never seen an operation like this before though. They did just, they just did one a few summers ago even. Then with no warning at all, this mess gets dropped in our lap. Orders from on high, damned if I know the reason. Could be that they're changing the layout, eh? Preparing for the next big expansion? Your exchange with Dobbin has taught you about taking stock in labyrinths. <laughs> Thanks. Kyle, what are you doing? Most of the, ga the those gathered here appear to be gleaners. Why don't you wander around and try to make some small talk? What do you think I'm doing, Kryle? Let me think, let me think. The ray seeds should be item 1058, cumin seeds 1059, snurbleberry 1060, or were they 1061? Arg! my head feels like it's stuffed with mocha grass. Why more loads take... Why more loads to take out than carry in? Oh. Why do all this at once and risk missing it up? What if someone mistakes the Korthan carrots for the Garibanyan carrots? What then? <laughs> Your exchange with Tiev has taught you about large shipments coming in and out of Labyrinthos. Oh, what's Alphano doing? Oh, we gotta go find Alice. Oh, she's there. Okay, perfect. Excuse me, are you a gleaner? No, I'm not, Alpha now. <laughs> if you don't mind, I have some questions to ask. Really, that's all. That's all we get. Hmm, <sighs> fascinating. But could we go back to what you were saying earlier? <laughs> Aaronville. <gasps> Is he a male Vera? He is. I should pay attention. I haven't seen any male Vera. Well, mostly because I don't look for them, but I probably have seen many and just not noticed. <laughs> You're here to help or give me more headaches? Because I don't ha you don't have the look of the gleaner and I'm in no mood for idle chatter. One of my colleagues was so exhausted he took a tumble and crashed into a pile of crates. Now I have a pack of marmots running loose. Your exchange with Arnvel has taught you... His name is awfully similar to Ironbald. Just gonna put that out there. <laughs> Let's taught you about exhausted gleaners. All right. Now who do I talk to? Who's over here? Where? Oh, Kyle. What are they doing here? This music though, what is this? I find it annoying. Any luck, Ari? What tales did the gleaners have to tell? Oh. <laughs> so this grand operation began without warning 
And for every item they bring in, they're sending more inventory somewhere else. Hmm. That would explain the haggard faces I'm seeing. We were right. The forum is definitely up to something. And they're turning Labyrinthos upside down in the process. Glorified rat catcher. Kryle appears lost in thought. We would do well to learn more of what specifically the gleaners are being tasked to do, as well as who has tasked them to do it. If you're a game, Ari, I have an idea. Am I going to become a gleaner? Gleamer? Gleaner? Did one of the gleeman... Gle Didn't one of the gleaners you questioned say something about escaped marmots? Yes. Perhaps if you were to help him capture said creatures, he might be inclined towards more friendly and enlightening conversations. In the meantime, I will turn my charms upon this gleaner here. As <laughs> you say as you stand right in front of him. We can compare notes afterwards. Happy hunting. Hmm, what have I got in the way of weapon stuff? Uh, this gives me I level 515. And I'm 530, so I really don't need this stuff. But I'm actually curious what this looks like. Because maybe it's something that I care for the look of. Alright. Where did it go? Oh, look at the space! Oh my god. Oh my god, space. They just gave us more weapon space. Oh, it's beautiful. And now we have more ring space. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, what am I looking for? Body pieces? What did I just get? This one? That's not what I just got, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, that's not especially exciting. What happens when you die it? Well, that's quite pretty. Alright. Moving on, though. You wish to help me find the marmots. I have nothing suitable to pay you for your services, but if you're offering under the goodness of your heart, I'd welcome the assistance. The name is Aaronville, friend. Specialist in the collection of live specimens. That said, the capture of these Naxian marmots is a trial I have no desire to repeat. Grizzled mice, they call them. For a mercy, there are no other marmot species in this tier at present, so there should be no mistaking your little fugitives. If you happen to catch any, stuff them in this sack. Gently, of course. I was if I accidentally killed them. Where to begin, you wonder? I've not seen any scampering around here, so we'll need to widen our search into the surrounding forest. Be on your guard. There are beasts out there that won't hesitate to prey on a marmot or you. The sur I'll search the trees to the west. The eastern part of the forest is all yours. Good luck. Oh, there's a bunny boy. Turn around, and you find one. Oh my god, this mountain's immense. Alright, I need to go not this way. Oh, you stole a... forgot you were even down here. Nay, I'm not shirking my duties. I've not been down here in an age and wished to get my bearings before I went bumbling about. From what I can see, however, is there is not obviously out of place. It seems we shall have to resort to discreet inquiries, as usual. Alright, I'm going to go out this way. What the heck is that? Uh, it's a weird looking thing. Mm, uh, is everyone killing all the marmots? This is going to be problematic. Oh. This works. Oh. That's the one I need. <laughs> oh yeah, things I want to eat. Uh, more enemies have joined the fray. I feel like one of the ones that they grab is probably one of mine. No, my, they don't have the icon over them. They're probably not mine. This 
Squeak, squeak. Did I just let it run off? Barely have you ready the sack when the grizzled mist came and softened the underbrush. God damn it! It's gonna be like right under this big dude. I want to not run straight into you. He's a troll. Okay. Oh, why am I not on a mount? He's only level 80. He probably won't kill me. I see it! I see where I need to go. Crap, I just got really tired. <laughs> Squeak! Better not get in my sack. What? The rodent nimbly evades your grasp before once more disappearing into the trees. God damn it! Uh, I've only been at this for eight hours. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's not even noon yet, and I've been at this for eight hours. It's so long. Mm, it looks like I need to go up the top of it. <sighs> oh my goodness. Is it bedtime yet, guys? I got like five and a half more hours of this, then dinner with my family, then, oh, ether currents up here. Okay, that's not what I was looking for, but uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Also there, Ethan Grants. To the south, that way. Um, I don't understand. Where's this stupid mouse thing? People are fighting stuff over there, but I didn't see anything over there. I don't understand. I'm lost. Something above me, right? What the F? Well, people are fighting and doing something here, but... I don't understand. What is here? I don't see anything. I'm so confused. Well, let's go follow this all the way back. But, like, it wasn't up there. I swear, but, like, it doesn't make sense. I ran up here. There was nothing up here. Oh, there it is, of course. Chirp. Sick. Thanks for doing the story so I can skip scenes. I mean, I would be doing the story whether it helped or not. It's not like I'm doing doing it for your benefit, but I'm glad that you, <laughs> you appreciate it. Squeak, squeak, get in my sack. More prepared for its speed this time, you succeed in closing the sack over your elusive quarry. There wasn't an etherite back there, was there? No. <sighs> All right. Oh wait, is it, it's gotta be almost work time for you then, huh? Because 
Well, I do believe you said it was about eight hours when we were talking at the beginning, and I've been streaming for eight hours now, so you might have work in like an hour or two. How did you fare? I tracked down three of the pack, which, leave, which leaves one unaccounted for. Yeah, I found it. Well, bastard. Oh, there's the odd mark right out. Wait here a moment while I put our friends in a holding cage. Oh, you got to level... Oh, I missed the other line. <laughs> you got to 79 now to eat and get ready for work. Fair enough, fair enough. I, like, just missed, missed that. Thankfully, the marmot, marmots seem to be unharmed. They've helped up well in isolation, but it's much too soon to release them into the habitat. It's a good thing we were able to recapture them so swiftly. You have my thanks. Who tasks you to capture them in the first place? What will you do with the marmots now? Why, the authority in charge of Labyrinthos, now and in perpetuity, the same officials who've had us working day and night of late, the honorable members of the forum, who else? Suitable for the consumption and easy to breed, suitable for consumption and easy to breed, those were the two conditions I was given for the stock I was instructed to procure. I don't know what the forum had planned for these creatures, but at the very least, I doubt they'll be served for dinner today or tomorrow. Are they creating like an ark basically where there are like a fallout shelter and stocking it with everything they need to survive if the world ends there you are Ari is this the gleaner you mentioned the one who was looking for lost marmots interesting company you keep friend who are you folk anyways I'm Kral the students of Baldessian these others are my associates Truth be told, the forum's decision of late have not sat entirely well with us, so we made the decision, made the descent into Labyrinthos. We hope that by seeing those decisions put into action, we might fully understand their reasoning. Wise and practical. Never hurts to try to gain a broader perspective, does it? Anyways, duty calls. Other animals to capture and enclosures to empty. Once again, I'm sorry that I can't offer you more for your services. Yeah, that's fine. Just give me some XP and I'm happy to move on. Did you learn anything new from your friend there? <sighs> oh my god. Ugh. So we've confirmed that the order for this ambitious operation did indeed come directly from the forum. However, the gleaners had not been informed of its purpose. I'd say that fits with everything we've heard thus far. We also discovered when the operation was begun, the forum contacted the gleaners guild ship and put their people to work to this great work some four days after the Tolafroi made their chilling declaration. As seasoned travelers, the gleaners kept abreast of news from every corner of the world out of necessity. Thus, I'm inclined to trust th that their calendar of events is accurate. Altogether, it gives a distinct impression that this undertaking was a sudden and unexpected development. Yet, I find it hard to believe that such a comprehensive restructuring of Labyrinthos and its archives could have been planned in so brief a window. Nay, this plan was long in the making, but they were awaiting the right time to put it into effect. And the Telophoroi's declaration was what set it all in motion? It seems likely, but let us not leap to conclusions just yet. For the moment, I suggest we conduct a wider investigation of Labyrinthos. The more facilities we visit, the more pieces of the puzzle we stand to find. In that case, how about we head to the Ar Archeon? From there, we can reach the lower... Oh no... Oh, Kryle. Kryle, what's wrong? I'm fine. Truly, the sudden descent has left me with a bit of a headache, that's all. Nothing that will stop me from soldiering on. Let's be about it then. At least allow me to take the lead. I'm fairly certain I remember the way to Archeon. We follow the past east. Blah, 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 blah. We follow the past east through the forest where you were chasing after that mouse or marmot was it? Anyways, tis the trolls you need to watch out for. Let me 
me getting tired. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not done yet. Not even close. So much more work. Not work, but like... Stuff to do. It always surprises me how long it takes to get through like the path split. I was thinking earlier that like... I get that they probably do it at the beginning of of the story, they split you into two paths just to keep the, um, to spread out the load, but I was kind of thinking that it just means that, like, as more and more people come in, like, it, it just doubles up people in, because you'll have, like, like, I did the other one first, and so when I get back to, um, the Charlian path, then I'm then doing that with people who've come later but are doing that one first, so, I don't know, I feel like it kind of, but maybe the initial push of people is the worst and that spaces it out it probably helps but I don't know that it helps as much as I would think it does this is the foremost material archive in Charlan. I would love to explore its treasures shelf by shelf but I feel we have little time for such indulgences were you caught in the mists on your way here the sprayers kept the air humid so the habitat feels as close as possible as a natural forest Don't worry about me, I'm hale and healthy. In fact, I'm beginning to suspect that... Nay, let's discuss this later. The investigation demands our undivided attention. Behold, the Archeon. <laughs> I didn't even look at what, what are we at? Okay. As Numenon serves the, as Charlian's literary archive, so does the structure ho house the city's wealth of material data. The architecture too is similar. This building you see is merely the upper entrance, an access point to the vaults carved into the cliffside itself. Within those vast rooms are stored countless samples and specimens, as well as detailed records which describe them. In a manner of speaking, the Archons contain a physical history of Charlene's unwavering dedication to the accumulation of knowledge. So, I'm kind of thinking that I want to grab some lunch. It's a little on the early side for lunch. However, I want to try to only eat during voice cutscenes. So I don't actually just have to like sit here and eat for like 30 minutes. So I want to go make like a massive salad. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to make a bag salad and add some chicken to it. Uh, so I think I might do that because I have a feeling I'm going to get another voice cutscene soon and then I can really start eating. Um, because I imagine it's going to take me several voice cutscenes to get through the entirety of my lunch. Um, and that will be, uh, probably an hour or two. So, I'm going to take a quick, probably closer to five minute break, go put my lunch together, and then I'll be back here and do some more of these cutscenes. So, don't go anywhere, I will be back in, not, in a few minutes. Oh, oh. We're here. Hold up. I got to I got to give you guys a new uh got to give you guys a new video. There we go. All oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not going to take that by that. No. Okay, it's not just me that thought I should be dead. Alright, I'm glad. <laughs> That's a new personal best. I missed two squares, so definitely room for improvement there. <laughs> Clipping them? Alright. Yeah, I don't know how I'm not dead. Uh, Alright. There's so much to remember on this one. It's probably why it's a little bit more forgiving. Although the other long one's not very forgiving. Uh, what, Doki Doki Rush was the other one. The long one is what I've said. <sighs> Where are all my riskies? getting riskies on that. It's not risky enough. Alright, let's not run into a wall here. Oh, I think I missed that. <laughs> well, 
me see the book. <laughs> I do want a review. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. I mean, I think, I don't think I technically went through that, but yes, I was as close to that as I could be. Uh... I'm getting too good at this now. I'm not getting rescued. I'm not like sideswiping through. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a long way to go on this one. Oh. Those riskies are fickle. Alright. I get so many more when I don't know what I'm doing though. I feel like that one's a square that's easier, but I, I feel like I screwed, wow, I'm even, I'm getting worse, getting worse at this part, here I was like, oh, I should get 10k, no, I, like, need my 9k again. I think I missed some hearts there. Uh, also, epic failure. There! Ah, go to the side! Okay. Okay. Miss that other one too? I need to learn the right spots. Uh, those are the hardest ones. You can't see them coming or like plan for them. I guess you can if you remember where they are. Alright. New personal best. Lots of room for improvement. Over here. Miss. Oops. Oh, I should have just left to the wall probably at that point. Too far over. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> Why is it so finicky? I got a risky, but I think I might have missed a big heart. Well, it's a bigger score. I hope I didn't miss that big heart, though. Oh. Not 
that's a better score than I've had here. There we go. That's personal best here. Hello, I am back. All right, I got me a salad and covered up so Arthas doesn't get his face into it. Oh, my lid is uh, green, so <laughs> it uh, poofs away. And then I also made another iced latte because I'm feeling like maybe, hopefully more caffeine will help, but caffeine really doesn't do a whole lot for me, but I'm getting sleepy. So we'll have a little bit more and see. See if that helps. All right. Uh, did I talk to everybody here? Uh, don't worry about me. Yes, I did. All right. Alpha now. Deeper into the maze, Alpha now is gazing in the Archeon with an appraising look. Well, we don't learn anything of value standing out here. Let us proceed into the main building and speak with the custodian. Okay. I can get on a map here, right? Because yeah. this is the indoor outdoors. And let's attune to this etherite before I forget. Oh. Oh, I'm in water. I feel like I'm about to be electrocuted. Who who built this like this? This is a, What? It's very impractical. Every time you teleport here you get wet feet. Let's go clear out this gemstone trader business. <sighs> Sorry, do I have to go up this way? Looks like maybe. The Archeon Custodian. Oh, that is who I talked to. Alright. Oh, those are stairs that go nowhere. Also, very thin. I guess it's basically a ladder. Mm, where is everybody? Where'd everybody go? Man, my work is like super chatty. Greetings, we are here to peruse the Archeon vaults. Peruse? You are clearly not gleaners then. May I ask your affiliation? We belong to the students of Baldessian, but is that relevant? I was given to believe the vaults, those open to the public at least, were open to the public. Ordinarily, yes, that would be the case. Did something happen to my volume? Did I? No? Okay, there's just no sound here. Okay. Ordinarily, yes, that would be the case. At present, however, access is restricted. Only persons directly involved in the reorganization efforts are permitted to enter. Not us, then. I suppose we'd better move along to another facility. This building has a lift which connects to the middle tier, yes? Might we at least make use of that? That service has also been suspended, I'm afraid. For the time being, priority has been given over to the conveyance of inventory. What? So this is as far as we can go? I apologize for the inconvenience. Please come again after our restructuring operation has concluded. By that time, it'll be too late. We're so close to getting answers. <clears throat> we need to rethink our approach. Let us step outside for a moment, shall we? Students of Beldesium. Hmm. The forum must be wary of exposure indeed to so heavily restrict the use of public institutions. 
If they're going to close off facilities, then they ought to announce it. The students must be furious. Labyrinthos is constructed in the shape of a mortar. This upper layer is called the outer circuit, and the medial circuit lies one tier below us. <coughs> we are at an impasse. As we have no other leads, I should like to pursue this one further. I doubt that our stone-faced custodian will be swayed by heartfelt pleas. We must seek another means to access the lower levels. Can we just jump off the cliff? Tis likely the people in this area are involved in the restructuring in one way or another. If we were to ingratiate ourselves, they may allow us to accompany them on the lift. Let's ask around. Surely someone is in need of a str few strong backs to lighten the load. I'm free! Oh, apparently I'm not going far. Mew student. Oh, how is this helpful? Am I taking the lift? Oh no, we're just students. They won't let us into the Archeon. Even though we found... Actually, we have no idea what it is we found. There's no record of such a creature anywhere. But it was wandering around Tranquility, so we thought to donate it to the vaults. Squeal, squeal. Oddest little squeal, don't you think? Anyways, I suppose we'll have to take care of it until the Archeon is open again. What's in the box? <laughs> Alright. Mm, why do they have a whole bunch of crystals here? Wind crystals? I suppose that's how they make it windy down here. I'm slightly concerned about all the... All the crystals I've seen lying about Charlayan, though. Can't say it makes me feel super comfortable. Bone weary worker. Oh, you like look like you need some help. Oh, what's that? Take you up and down the lift with me. Sorry, but not a chance. I've been up and down all day, and now, and only now have I finally found a spare moment to rest. Did I did see a gleaner fellow he heading out the gate there, though, shouldering a large pack, engaged in some manner of task. Maybe he'll be headed down below after he's done with. Whatever it is he's doing. Where am I going now? Up this way? Mm, how do I get up here? What's this place? Not outside. Inside then? Can't go inside, so... Down below here? Uh, there's somebody over there. Yep, that's what I need. Holy crap, there's so many people here. Oh, and they all seem to be looking that way, so... Uh... Oh, it's Aaronville. I remember him. Quiet, you'll frighten it away. Who are you after? Ah, it's you again. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm in the middle of an un another task. The cloud can I need to capture is close. Very close. Let me do it. Hmm? You wish to help me with this too? Spend your time in unusual ways, my friend. Still, two hunters are better are generally better than one. Very well. What is making weird noises with my ear? The canal here is a common gathering spot for birds of all kinds, but the one I'm after today is the hornbill oh god. Hornbills? Or are they something else? Aren't those the little, like, staring guys? Its feathers are green and its cry a distinctive caw. Single it out and shoot it with a sleeping dart. Hmm. The effects are short-lived, so it'll lie in wait down- So I'll lie in wait down by the riverbank to claim our quarry. Be sure to hit the right one. Wait, what did he describe it as? Uh, hold on a second. Um... Feathers are green and has a distinctive caw. Okay. Is that what everybody's over here doing? Yes. Yeah. Search your st surroundings for the hornbill. You may move the camera. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I think that's a shoe bill. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, coo, coo. That's not right. Walk, walk. Caw, caw, but he's not green. 
<coughs> Kaka. Sure. I'm good at stuff like this. Nicely done. Let me trust this one up and I'll make my way over to you. Something's gonna grab him. That thing's huge. It's like twice the size of him. <coughs> there you are. Any new revelations? Oh, I might have a friend. I shot a bird. So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill. I shot it. Crap. I understand catching and bringing in creatures from the outside. But what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a good question. Oh, it's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study. Or those we've had difficulty raising. But we can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. But not in this case, I'm afraid. I've been asked to bring the bird below. The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers hand-picked by the Forum. The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work, are not permitted to walk freely in the city, and are instead required to live in isolated quarters. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? Um. Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. But... Judging by the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidia or thereabouts. What? Why would you say that? Much of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. They're comparatively hardy species, too able to endure harsh climates. And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality and purifying water. When you put it that way, migration does sound like a reasonable assumption. That's all it is, though. An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the forum's plans. Our prime concern is that our requisitions be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. Now, I really must be going. I regret that I cannot reward you as you deserve. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. And seeing as you are already set to descend with your assigned cargo, Mayhap we could accompany you as your assistants. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Once the animals have been prepared for transport, we send them down separately via the lift. I will, of course, follow after to make my report, but I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry.
Indeed. Pray forget I said anything. How do you feel about climbing? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. This path leads to the 33rd facet, a mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions of Labyrinthos. While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. I never even knew such a place existed. Thank you. This is the perfect solution. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. If the going proves too treacherous, you'd do well to turn back. I bid you good day. Well, turning back is hardly an option, not when we've come this far. Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. That voice acted cutscene snuck up on me unexpectedly. I was like, oh, I'm shooting a thing. And then I was like, wait, they're talking to me. <laughs> Should be eating. All right, so there's some sort of mining shaft that we're going to be able to climb down. Is that is all that's going on here? He's always apologizing for not being able to pay me, but he pays me an in information, and that's what I'm here for. Now it makes sense why more people were gathered around the, the shooting thing, though. The medial circuit, which Aaronville mentioned, is a tier directly below us, unlike the lowest levels of Labyrinthos, which Itch. With its rigid security, one can usually roam the middle layer quite freely. Let us see what we might find. I never would have noticed this came on my own. Really, the path literally comes right here. Thank the scholar that Aaronville knew of it. <laughs> you were the one to persuade him to share. L literally, the path leads straight up to it. How do you not find it, Kryle? <laughs> Uh, I took a quick peek inside, but it's awfully dark in there. This must be it, the ch entrance to the mine shaft. It is faint, but I can hear something moving within. Creatures home there by the researchers, you think? Well, slavering beasts aside, we'll need to watch our footing. We should tighten our straps and such before we continue. Oh, I should have talked to Alpha now. Oh, I still have time. Man-made though it may be, the shaft was designed to resemble a natural cave system. Heed Aaronville's warning and do step carefully. The medial circuit. Alice seems eager to get underway. Assuming everyone's tightened their straps and checked their gear, then I say we head in. Given the terrain ahead though, it may be wise to leave some distance between us. We don't want to be stumbling over each other if it comes to a fight. Take it slow, and don't forget to check your surroundings from time to time. We can meet up again at the other end of the tunnel. Oh yeah, I can get on a map. Hmm, oh my goodness, that's huge! Those are what, fung fungwars? Mithril caps? Where am I going? Oh. Not down there yet. Looks like I'm going over here. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to fight things. Uh, 
Why is that guy so weak sauce? Where are mine? Oh, they're over here. person you're on your own. Oh, I gotta go deeper. I thought I saw my coworker saying something about Holy Savage, but and I was like, what? Final Fantasy? But then uh said holy savings. I'm surveying. Bunch. Can't wait for Holy Three. It's gonna be glorious. I do love me some Holy, but it'll be nice to be like, no, I'm casting Holy Two now, even though it's more or less not. Uh, <laughs> Not any different. They just slapped a new name on it and gave it a higher potency. So we feel like we're we're making progress. I thought we were gonna have to climb. This was just like a light stroll. Why can't they be in their cars? <coughs> Alright, you shall let's say. The mineshaft was infested with mithril caps. Some sort of research project, I wonder. I suppose they are a most unusual creature. Why did they develop such long limbs when all they do is shuffle about narrow tunnels? Ari, did you know Kryle almost took a tumble back there? She can't possibly still be dizzy from the lift. Ah, oh, Kryle, are you okay? What's wrong with you? I was being careful, I swear. The slope was steeper than I thought, and I lost my footing for a moment. That's all. I'm not injured, if you don't count my pride. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone seems to have made it through with that incident. Nothing of consequence, at least. And, as promised, the tunnel has delivered us to the medial circuit. As I recall, this tier is where they keep a wide variety of samples for agricultural production. If Aaronville's assumption holds true, the specimens are being collected in preparation for a great migration, then we should see evidence of such plans in the area's research projects. Let's follow the path to the nearest farming facility and see what we see. Oh, my memories of this place are a touch hazy, but if we keep to the path heading north, we should eventually arrive at the farm of some kind. Northeast? What's up this way? I'm gonna go see what I find if I go this way. Is this just like another way to get to the same area? Yeah. Alright, well where's the um... There's either. Oh! It leads you around the wrong way! How dare they? Let's just scroll. Zoom, zoom! Vroom, vroom! Oops. I fell down. little things hanging down here that are just like wobbling. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this whole thing doesn't make any sense. Alright. Supposedly, I need to go that way. Where's my next thing though? To the north. Well, I'm going to the north. Genomos? They're like furry puddings. Wow, this place is really cool. Hmm, this looks like where I just came from. <sighs> Some amount of yams to the north. Alright. <laughs> Panda Express. Hmm, 
my texture. Farming stuff. Grapes. How many people do you think they could support down here? <clears throat> Aha! Now I know where we are. This is Merrill Agronomics. Labyrinthos is host to a wide variety of vegetation, which allows us to conduct studies on cultivation methods utilized in foreign lands. And it's in this, it is this facility which coordinates the oversee and oversees those efforts. The fruits of their research go to feed their Labyrinthos colleagues, or so I hear. More notable successes might make it to the Agora. Foods so exotic you'd be hard pressed to guess their origin, let alone how they might taste. Indeed, mystery vegetables without a name. Only a list of nutritional benefits scribbled on a card. Hmm, I see no gleaners hereabouts, yet these workers seem to share that same sense of urgency. Tis possible they know something of the foreign's plans and their underlying motivations. Worth looking into, wouldn't you say? See what you can coax from the workers. The rest of us will do the same or cast about for useful clues. Alright, <clears throat> I need to go to the north, so let's keep going there. 208 elms, that's not very far, let me just go see. Is that gonna be like up there or something? Northeast, yeah, it's totally up there. How do we get up there? Around this way? Is that what this guy's trying to do? Stray onion. Oh, that's actually hilarious. Can you not get up this way? No, you can. Uh, it should be this way. Southeast? No, directly east. only get here by dropping down from above. Interesting. Oh no. This is... I thought that was a drop off, but it's just a casual uh, incline. Never mind. You can just walk up here. How the hell do I get out of here? There we go. Can I just jump over this? No. That would be too easy. Oh, you stole that. What are you doing over here? I took a moment to survey the surrounding area. There are several other facilities nearby we can investigate if we fail to learn aught of value here. <sighs> An overwhelmed laborer. <sighs> do you have aught to be taken down below? More than I can carry and then some. Oh, do I have aught that can be taken down below? More than I can carry and then some. Most of our stock is set off via the cargo lift, but some has to been earmarked for aerial transport. Hence the stack of crates atop the hill over there. Gods, hauling that lot up the slope was a job and a half. And so you spent years researching these high yield cultivation techniques. Oh, that's uh, not something I want to go into, nor is it something that they'll let me go into. What are you doing over here, Kyle? What did you find? These look like they want to be pumpkins. A field full of ripe vegetables being left to rot on the vine. Not a single picker at heart at work. Clearly procuring readily available fresh food is not the forum's priority. Hmm. Interesting. I'm told this cart holds the harvest meant for the larders here, and nothing out of the ordinary. I say so. Oh, hello! We weren't expecting visitors. 
Not with the use of the lift being restricted. How did you make it down here anyways? Oh, you know, just walked. The mine shaft, you say? Well, you're a much hardier soul than I. Under normal circumstances, I'd reward such tenacity with a guided tour of the fields, but I'm afraid the forum has us filling order lists a mom long. Massive yet detailed requests, literal wagon loads of crop samples, and hardly any time to put them together. When I first heard this grand reorganization, I assumed we would be shuffling around old stock to remo make room for the new. Then came the orders for ridiculous quantities of seeds we've already thoroughly researched. Passing strange, eh? I pressed for an explanation and was met with vague assurances that all would be revealed in due course. Not the most satisfying answer. <clears throat> Alright. I need to talk to one more person. Oh, here. What a pretty Makote. What crops are we raising? Well, as you can see, this one is a variety of grape. Only needs a good source of sunlight to grow, and the conditions here are nothing short of perfect. Hardly surprising, given that it's native to a particular locale, the very place upon which Labyrinthos was modeled, a region in the south of Ilsebard. It boasts remarkable ha habitat diversity, allowing a myriad of flora and fauna to, be th to thrive. Chilly peaks in the north give way to swaths of temperate plains, which turn in transition, which turn tran in turn transition to hot, humid coastlines. Such bountiful territory is ever contested as you might expect. It used to be called Corvos before the Imperials renamed it Locus Aminas. Ah, we've heard about this before. Wait, that was where. <sighs> is that where Graha was from? The forum saw it not as a prize, however, but as a researcher's ideal environment, one whose climates we strove to recreate within the confines of Labyrinthos. It since provided a rich foundation for countless experiments and cult cultivation. Alright, now what do I do? Find Ushola? Nope. Excuse me! Oh, I'm gonna guess it's over here where there's like five bajillion people. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to investigate stacked boxes. Okay. The labels on these crates tell a story of their contents. Bundles of common seeds and saplings accompanied by sheaves of reports. Voice acting? Seems unlikely. What are these weird flower things? Why am I so shocked by it? They're pretty. Are they hypnotizing? Hard to look away, isn't it? Who the heck are you? But they're more than pretty flowers. Heart blooms are attuned to ambient emotion. Interesting. <sighs> you don't seem convinced, but believe me, it's true. This ashen oh, this gray, for instance. It mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders. Intense feelings like those spur the petals to change color. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy, dark subdued shades for frustration or despair. Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, We've yet to identify the underlying principle of this empathic effect. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations growing in the wild. With too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track, We've been unable to pinpoint its land of origin. 
To further complicate matters, every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. Our attempts to study it via the historical record have been an exercise in frustration. As an avid botanist myself, I should one day like to unravel the heart bloom secrets. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. I will leave you to your thoughts. I have a phone call, so I'm gonna pause for a second. Have you learned aught of interest? Right now. All right, sorry about that. Um, that was my dad calling. It's his birthday today, and uh, I meant to call him yesterday and remind him that we were coming to visit him tonight, but uh, forgot. So figured I should probably take that call and not just ignore him on his birthday. Uh, all right, I will continue to listen now and eat. A flower that reacts to one's feelings. Strange. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. This is all very fascinating. But as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Erinville's supposition that her priority has been placed on improving food production, and fortunately for our investigation, these workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. <sighs> if only we could interrogate the forum members directly. Isn't that the entrance to the arcade? Look, there. I think that's Erinville. A little difficult to tell from here, but, but I think you're right. He did say he was coming down to make his report. Erinville receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then, that the superior to whom he reports is a Forum member, or at least a close associate? You mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? <laughs> what of the risks? Ours alone to bear. We won't interfere with Erinville's work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. Nay, 
I said myself that I wished to know Father's intentions. And no answers will be forthcoming should we simply ask nicely. We can apologize later, should it come to it. Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. Consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all... Trial. Hmm? Oh, yes, that certainly sounds like a plan. I'm glad you agree. Quickly, Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Almost reach you. Well, those flowers certainly are interesting. What's up with Cryo? That's so weird. Uh, let's get after him already. We've waited too long as it is. Yeah, you're right. It feels wrong to spy on Aaronville, helpful as he's been. But what other choice do we have? Are we gonna fight? I thought when we saw him, I was like, oh, is he gonna be evil? I hope he's not evil. Forgive me, my. <laughs> oh yeah. Forgive me, my intention has been elsewhere. We were following Aaronville, weren't we? Is Kryle still feeling unwell? I've never seen her so distracted. Keep an eye on her, but keep moving too. We cannot let our quarry slip away. <laughs> oh, uh, Alice. Wait, can we see him? Where'd he go? <laughs> the full report, warts and all. Okay, Alice is not let, about to let Aaronville out of her sight. Ironville was headed westward along the path outside the Archeon. Come, we can still catch him. As they run off east? Hmm. I don't know why they ran that way. I'm really confused. Sorry. I like crunching on ice, but I'll try to refrain from doing that in you guys' ears. <laughs> uh. It seems Yustola wishes to have a word with us. We've fallen too far behind, and this damn miss won't help matters. I can still hear it. Hmm. What's up with Kryl? Hold a moment. I have an idea. If memory serves, that colossal wall-like structure is Logiston Beta, one of Labyrintho's climate control centers. It should have its own lifts with which one could access the upper or lower tiers. I, if I were an agent of the forum, it would make for a convenient meeting place. But even if we happen to find Aaronville in company of said agent, we cannot expect them to reveal issues of importance as we nonchalantly stroll past. Nay, we shall have to remain undetected. If only Graha and his vanish spell were here. Oh, but there are other ways of turning invisible. Hippity hop, my little toads. 
Oh. Goodness. You stole it. You just turned them into toads. Oh, us. All of us. Okay. I thought it was just Alpha and Alice. What? Unaccustomed to transfiguration? Worry not. It will wear off with the passage of time. Yestola! I'm a toad! I suggest you and your green companions hop along and catch up with Aaronville. Should you feel the magic fading, return to me and I will refresh the enchantment. Um, and what am I to do in the meantime? Wait here with me. In your current state of mind, you'd be as likely to leap into the jaws of a predator as you would learn anything of note. <sighs> Poor Kryle. Which reminds me, where are the creature's hereabouts? In that form, you are entirely defenseless. You've changed into a toad. You must remain transfigured in order to progress quest objectives. You'll return from your transfigured status if you move too far away. Look to your map for the transfiguration's area of effect. Speak with your stola to restore or prolong the transfiguration. All right. So it's not a length of time. It's just like, as long as I stay. Where, oh yeah, last 30 minutes. As long as I stay where I'm supposed to. Wait, am I going the wrong way? No, it's this way, okay. Oh. No, I'm not done yet. Oh yeah, I gotta pick up Alice and Alphano to come with me. Wait, how come we're... Th oh, that's somebody else. I was like, why are there three toads? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Alfie Toad and Allie Toad are now accompanying you. <laughs> Keep that your sign in order to proceed. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Come on, Alpha Toad and Alice Alla Toad. Let's go. Oh, they faked. Do not want. I see somebody else toad hopping ahead of me. Don't want to join the fate. Hippity hippity hop. It's the mama toad. I suspect we need to be on the other side. Oh. Here's a objective. How do I talk to them? Discuss your surroundings. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Alpha Toad attempts to <laughs> fails to shake his head, but nevertheless, he's telling you that this is the wrong way. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Alpha Toad turns to face north. Perhaps she's su suggesting you cross the bridge. I mean, I was crossing the bridge. Oh, that bridge? How do we get up there? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Let's follow Felda. Mmm. I don't want to jump off the side. I don't know that they meant to do that. Hmm, there's people over there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> More toadness. Oh, meeting of toads. Oh, everybody's in cutscenes. I guess this is where we need to go. I trust you will find your compensation to be more than satisfactory. We wish to make clear that we are pleased with the efficiency and thoroughness of your work. Why do you have to sound so sketchy? So much so that we have come bearing new tasks in need of your competent hand. One single hand? Another lengthy list. If I may speak frankly, the cleaners have been pushed to the point of collapse by your unending demands. 
We are not familiars to be exploited. We are Charlene scholars, and we deserve an explanation for this unseemly treatment. What warrants such urgency? In an age long past, Charlian was charged with a momentous duty. And now that word of the final days hangs heavy in the air, the time has come for us to fulfill that charge. <sighs> to create a massive fallout shelter? I can say no more, but I promise you this. All will be revealed in due course. And when it has, you will understand that your toil was in service to the greatest good. Oh, this voice acting I should be eating. Oh well. Then I will do your bidding. For now. But unless you wish the cleaners to rise up in protest, I advise you to offer tangible improvements for our working conditions. Your promised revelation does nothing to address present circumstances. You tell him. A fair point. Your concerns will be conveyed to the forum. Is he gonna look at us? Three toads, watching him intently. We're not creepy at all. Does he th see through our disguises? Does he recognize me? Even as a toad? Ribbit, ribbit. I hope that was informative. You may consider my debt to you repaid in full. <laughs> How does he know we're here? In toad While form. While I do have my reservations about the forum, Ugh. I want to believe that they have our best interest at heart. Which is why I'm reassured that you're busy sniffing out the truth of things. We can ill afford to place all our eggs in one basket, this master plan of theirs without first understanding the risks involved. Oh, poof. Wait, how did you know it was us? If you mean to impersonate a toad, try studying the real thing. And don't try to fool an expert. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's funny. I thought maybe he had some uh, some creepy power that let him see through our disguise, but uh, no, he just knows Toads real well. Fair enough. Our Toad performance needs work, apparently. I'll have to pay more attention next time I see one. We're gonna be Toads again, Alice. Eh? I suppose we should have known a Gleaner who specializes in animal procurement would not be so easily deceived. Yet he seemed inclined to put his trust in us all the same. More importantly, perhaps, we discovered a new piece of the puzzle. This momentous duty the for forum agent mentioned. Charlene have been called to action, and the Talafaroi's declaration was the catalyst. Whatever charge it is they hope to fulfill, they deem it of sufficient import to disrupt all of Labyrinthos, not to mention ignore Eorzi's request for aid. If we happen to cross paths with Arnville again, I should like to thank him properly. A guide of sorts. Oh, are we gonna actually get to talk to the forum? Or at least see them? I'll say staring off in the direction Arnville has departed, a thoughtful look on her face. What duty could warrant the direct involvement of forum in the commitment of all its resources? Judging by what we heard, none of the gleaners were offered any kind of explanation. At this point, it seems abundantly clear that we'll learn nothing new by pressing them further. We should head back to Yishtola and Kral for the moment. See what they think of this. Oh, little toad. Go, little toad. Could we get by the top way? It was up that way, so probably? Man, 
man, my stomach just does not want to be settled today. I keep thinking I'm hungry, but I really just think I'm just, my stomach is not happy with my sleeping hours last night. <laughs> Always just throws me off. Yeah, let's say what say you. It's funny how normal the forest seems now. As a toad, it was all so much more ominous and threatening. <laughs> Where's Kryle? Oh, that's a good question. Ishola, where'd Kryle go? Um, why is this person literally standing on top of her? Welcome back. I trust you found Aaronville then. Yeah, yeah, he knew it was us. We're bad toads. Interesting. I had a feeling you would learn something important, even if that something was simply a confirmation that no one knows much of anything. We should share this with Kral, then discuss how we'd like to proceed. Assuming we find her back at the farm, she was still behaving oddly, so I bade her return and rest there. Perhaps not the best decision in hindsight. Would you mind checking near the flowers she was so entranced by? The rest of us can survey more distant areas, just in case she decided to wander. Stealthing. Oh yeah, the flowers were up here, weren't they? Oh, I've aggroed a tomato. That's kind of funny. Alright, this was where the flowers were, right? Kryle does not... Oh no, Kryle is here. Okay, I just... Uh, have a hard time seeing her. Why are you being so weird? Oh, don't pick it. That seems like a bad idea. You killed it. What did she just do to it? What are you doing, Cryo? For you, the spell will keep it from wilting. Oh. She said you would need it for the journey ahead. Is Heidelin talking to the Kryle about us? Is that what's going on here? Will you speak with her now? I cannot hope to match Minfilia's clarity, of course, but... She has lent me her body for only a moment. Just as I could not save the first from the flood of light, it has become arduous for me to interact with the physical world without assistance. Though I might converse with you for a time, the incorporeal form I assumed on the ship would be incapable of casting even the simplest enchantment. It is in the depths of the ethereal sea, the place to which all life returns, where my influence is greatest. After Menphilia's sacrifice on the first, it was to the sea, here in the source, where I ferried her soul. I wished that gentle spirit to find rest in the world she loved so well. Her and another who may yet have a part to play, though that will depend on you. Take the flower, walk free, for you are free to go where you wish, to believe what you will.
That gloom will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. In darkness, seek joy, surrender not to sadness, and see beyond despair. Walk free and bear the light for others to follow. Together, raise it aloft and let it shine till the end, blinding and radiant. was all too brief. Already she seems so far away. Ah, <sighs> my apologies if I startled you. Ever since we began our descent into Labyrinthos, I had sensed another's will, straining to reach out. Even with my particular talents, though, I was unable to make a connection at first, so weak and tenuous it was. Once I took hold of that wispy thread, imagine my surprise to discover it was Heidelin herself. Needless to say, it seemed wise to learn what we could before letting go. Her answers were more cryptic than I would have liked. But at least she left us with a guide of sorts, that unusual flower. <sighs> yes, we are definitely making progress. You can't be serious! We've done nothing wrong! It's their dad! Master Fortuno? What business has the Forum with us? Obstruction and suppression, apparently. Mistress Baldessian. Our records show you facilitated the Scion's entrance into Charlian by claiming them as assistants for your organization. Mm-hmm. That's true. We are aware of your investigations. After alerting the major institutions to the presence of potential troublemakers, we received word from an Archean custodian. A group operating under the auspices of the students, skulking about Labyrinthos and engaging in clandestine behavior. We did clandestine? Do that. We may not have entered Charlie and Scions, but we did naught to conceal our identities. Our only purpose in this city is to seek the truth. I can think of no reason why our actions should warrant the Forum's intervention. It is not our way to discourage the pursuit of knowledge, but the timing of such pursuits must be considered, not to mention their potential impact. With the world in chaos, we, the true caretakers of wisdom, have committed ourselves to an undertaking that demands the utmost discretion. Please, tell us about it. And we will not risk its success by turning a blind eye to disruptive foreign elements in our midst. What then is to be our fate? Will you put us on a ship back to Eorzea? But I already attuned to the ether right here. I can come and go as I please. Like to see you try to keep me out. The forum will convene to examine your case. The results of said inquiry will determine your future in this city. As for your absent companion, he has already been detained. Wait, which one? We have more than one. Oh, Graha. I mean, we have a couple more too. <laughs> Graha! But why? Is reading a crime now, too? I mean, you guys know why they're after us. We're investigating them. <laughs> Did you think that they were just gonna, like, ignore that fact? Reading is encouraged. Celebrated, even. 
not, however, of the volumes shelved in the restricted section of the library. But it's not restricted to them. Refusing to comply will only make matters worse. Let us instead treat this as an opportunity to open a dialogue with the Forum. Silence is often one's best defense. I would advise against prolonging the proceedings with frivolous discourse. Well, I was good at silence. The other ones might, maybe not so much. But enough. This is not the place for debate. The rostra await. All right, let's have at it. Can't even tell them that we we're just speaking to Heidelin. We just gonna follow them straight there. I suppose it would be silly of them to trust me to make my own way there. So ominous. Is it just coincidence that I'm there at nighttime, or is it always nighttime? Oh, Graha. Oh, Kyle took her hood off. My goodness, she's never done that. Oh, her hair is adorable. Oh, I need more shots. Forgive of me, Kyle. I was careless. Mm. We would have been detained regardless. This way, at least, we managed to stay together. I trust your time within the Forbidden Archives was well spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lagrin. The forum will come to order. This inquiry is now in session. As speaker elect, I will be presiding over the day's proceedings. Master Fortuner, would you be so kind as to restate the matter which compelled you to summon your colleagues with such urgency? As you are all aware, we recently denied Eorzea's request for Charlian assistance. Since then, certain individuals dissatisfied with our decision have taken it upon themselves to interfere with our work. Not dissatisfied, just want to know what you're they up to. They entered our nation masquerading as associates of the students of Baldessian. But these malcontents are better known as the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Yeah, we are. <laughs> these militants wield influence with both the Eorzean and Eastern alliances, and are inextricably involved with the crises presently afflicting the world at large. Yeah, in that we're trying to stop the crisis. Loose in our city, these warmongers sought to meddle with and expose matters of state secret. What are they, if not a dire threat to be expelled? Uh, you have tarnished the good name of the students. Gallup would be ashamed. Oh, that's just mean. Oh, her hair, though. Why is she so cute? Oh, she's adorable. Gallus Baldessian was never one to forsake his fellow man. Oh, she's so cute. I mean, she was always cute. I love her hair. Even if this nation closed every door and retreated from the world, he would have found a way to help the Scions, help every soul of this star fight back against the coming doom. You tell him, Grail. A terrible enemy stands poised to lay waste to all we hold dear. In the face of such madness, Eorzea reached out to Charlian, a respected ally, in the hopes of forming a united front. Was your curt dismissal truly the best you could offer? Or are you so preoccupied with your momentous duty of an age long past that even the end of the world is unworthy of your attention?
Whence came this revelation? Oh, you know, we found out to it recently, or not. From the mouth of a forum member within fortuitous earshot. Then it seems your findings support my own. Oh, what did you find out? Are we just going to talk about it in front of the forum? The reason I visited the restricted shelves was to study records of the forum's policy-making process. To better understand the historical trends underlying their most major decisions. At first glance, the positions of neutrality in war and the accumulation of knowledge above all else appear constant and consistent. The unchanging pillars of Charlian society. And once upon a time, I might have left it at that. These days, however, I am more attuned to the subtleties of governance, and so I noticed something... odd. From a particular point in time, the purpose of these policies shifted. No longer was knowledge preserved for the benefit of society. Rather, society was to be gradually reshaped to ensure the preservation of knowledge. Hmm. The most conspicuous and telling change was the one which befell Labyrinthos. Once little more than an oversized storehouse, an enormous allocation of funds saw it transformed into an advanced research and archival facility. I also discovered a fascinating account on the finances of our Dravanian colony. The settlement attracted students from far and wide, and the connections and tuition fees thus acquired were funneled into further improvements for the archives. Now, there is no question that our nation's progress is tied to the acquisition of wisdom. Nevertheless, the vast resources diverted for this purpose borders on the obscene. But returning to the matter of when, our change in course appears to have been made some 270 years ago. The very same period when Charlian scholars in the hinterlands began a formal study of the ethereal sea. I don't know what that means. You found something, did you not? And whatever it was, gave rise to your oh-so-important duty. Did they find out about the end of days? The final days? Mind your tongue, Archon. If you had seen... Oh. Who has the... Who's got the force? Who is it? Yes. We are bound by a duty we cannot ignore. Did he get overtaken by Asian? Knowing this, what would you have us do? Abandon our vital work and join you on the field of battle? We will never choose the way of the sword. We will fulfill our mission, not through strife and bloodshed, but survival. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must, then. For we scions will fight until the heavens fall, until our last breath. Such misguided zeal. Father, I... Master Fortuna, I fail to understand the stance you have elected to take. But by the same token, I have yet to find a compelling argument to counter the challenge you put to us in Gradania. Still, in the midst of my uncertainty, I must trust in myself to do what is right, as others have chosen to trust in me. Ironbald. Oh, 
So I will continue, as I always have, weighing the consequences of my every action, and allowing my hope for the future to inform my decisions. That's quite enough. Have you all forgotten the reason for this assembly? Skolok Montashane. He's the head of the studium and an old friend of my grandfather's. Honestly, every discussion devolves into some interminable debate. Terrible habit. <laughs> Let's return to the topic at hand, hmm? By their own admission, these Scions have resolved to fight alongside the Eorzean nations against the doom which Swift approaches. For there exists no evidence of an attempt to incite our citizens to do the same. Oh. Furthermore, while our decision may well have been the correct one, we cannot simply bull our way through these disagreements without inviting doubts or objections. I thought I wasn't going to like this guy, but uh, he's alright. Put yourselves in their place. Who among you would leave a tome unopened if an elder <laughs> forbid you read it with no reason given? Fair enough. Now, if we're to quell further discontent, then we must conclude this matter with a fair and even hand. Order! We will have order! Master Montachain raises some valid points. Keeping such concerns in mind, I propose we enforce the following measures. Until further notice, the students of Baldessian are to cease any and all activities within the domain of Sharia. Why the students of Baldessian? Are you punishing them? They had nothing to do with it. You will also refrain from any further investigation into the forum's decisions and duties. I don't think failure to comply with these restrictions will result in the immediate expulsion of your Scion associates. Mm, so what can we do then? Let us put this judgment to a vote. All in favor, raise your hand. It's not very many hands. I count 51 for and 48 against. The proposal is passed. Hmm, I didn't see that many hands up. Students, Scions, you have heard the forum's judgment. Pray abide by it or face the consequences. Honored members, I thank you for your time. This inquiry is concluded. Well, <laughs> did really, that really accomplish a whole lot. I don't know. Is that the end of that fork, though, basically? Is this gonna wrap it up? We accomplished nothing? Well, I mean, we did learn some stuff. I apologize for the trouble it caused you. I was pondering the significance of what I had just read and le I, as I left the restricted section and knocked over the security mammoth on my way out. I promise to be more vigilant next time. <laughs> Graha! <laughs> You may encounter some raised eyebrows, but do continue to claim the students as your sponsor whensoever the need arises. I believe in the guiding principles of the science, and I know my grandfather would have as well. My father may be right, but I am still groping in the dark for, the, for answers. But I need to know, him to know that I would never stop searching. I owed that much to Arnvald and myself. 
Thank the gods for Skalark. Skalark? Montashane? I absolutely loathe arguing circles. Well, at least we've been allowed to remain in the city. And our endless investigations have not been in vain. We now know this mysterious duty of theirs began with whatever the forum discovered in the ethereal sea. With our freedom so sorely curtailed, however, we will struggle to learn aught more of substance here in Charlian. Woo! 82! Hmm, okay. Ah, oh, I learned Holy 3! And Glare 3? We shall have to think very carefully about how we are to proceed from here. Estate visitor. Alice has a look of dissatisfaction. The overall picture has grown clearer, yes, but that's in spite of the foreign being so maddeningly vague about this duty of theirs. Why on earth are they so reluctant to explain their actions in plain words? Survival, come what may, is father's work so vital that it takes precedence over his own family? Alphano, Alice, it is you. Is it their mom? Is that their mom? When I heard you've been dragged before the forum, I came as swiftly as I could. I'm so very glad they allowed you to stay. Mother? Emiliance Lavayer, at your service. And you fine people must be the scions of the seventh dawn. How lovely it is to finally meet you. <laughs> We're all just like shocked. Mother, please, we don't miss wish to make things difficult to you. If word reaches father that you were here. Oh, bother that. Am I to be chastised for speaking with my own children? I am well aware that you and Master Fortuna are not on the best of terms at the moment, but I've been absolutely desperate to see my darlings again. You will come by the house, won't you? I have gifts waiting. <laughs> the timing couldn't be better. As matters stand, we shan't be going anywhere until we discuss matters with Thancred's group and reconsider our options. Go, visit your home. We'll be back at the Annex when you're ready to rejoin us. I'm not sure we... Ari, what do you think? Go home. Go hang out with your mom. Ari, the Ari Ivana. Yep, that's me. <laughs> what a splendid day this has turned out to be. Champion of Eorzea. I insist that you join us. Ah, <laughs> oh, but we must be quick about it. Not for my own benefit, but should my husband return and find you enjoying our hospitality, the servants will be made to suffer the consequences. Ari, if you would be so kind as to escort my children to the estate. And then she was gone, and with her any opportunity to protest. The girl's just laughing at them. Indeed, the matter is settled. Enjoy yourselves, you three. <laughs> All right. I'm sure Alphano thinks nothing of it. He invited classmates over all the time. But I, well, I wasn't the most... It was a different time for me, alright? Aww. I apologize. My mother is not one to take no for an answer. Still, I am glad, relieved even, to see her in such high spirits. What say you, Ari? Though it seems we shall have little enough time to enjoy it, will you accompany us on our visit home? I mean, I don't think I have much choice. Fine, if we're going, then let's get it over with. But be sure to stay in the entrance hall. No peeking into her private chambers, thank you very much. Oh, Alice, now I want to peek. Why ever not? Your room was always perfectly neat and tidy. Everyone has things they'd rather keep to themselves, don't they? Cherished mementos you couldn't bring yourself to throw away? Childhood toys? I mean, ugh, gah, never mind. Levire Estates is this way, straight down the stairs. Come on. They're accompanying me. Blah 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 blah. Alright, let's go. Nope, other people. 
Doing, doing what I'm doing. Discuss the view from the bridge. When Alza and I were little, the bridge was as far as we were permitted to wander alone. I say alone, but my mother or servant was always somewhere nearby, keeping a watchful eye. And now look at us, traveling to different continents, different worlds even. I mean, do your parents know that you went to the first and like lived a whole year there? As children, Elf and I, and I would often wait here for our fathers to come home from work. I guess their bodies didn't, because I was like, oh, shouldn't they be like a year older? But no, their bodies were not, because they, their bodies were still here. It must have been a day when his meeting ran long, because I remember growing restless and leaning out over the railing to watch the water brush by. Father, of course, arrived at the exact moment, came pounding down the path in a panic, crying out my name. This is the Levire house. Man, it's so big. Hmm. I don't remember there being anybody here when I was here before. I guess probably because there was like nobody that far in the quest <laughs> when I was doing that. Uh, okay, there are, they're still following me, so nothing to talk about. And here you are at last. Please do come in. I want to go creep around. I want to go see Alice's room, specifically because she told me not to. Oh! They're all lined up to meet us. Welcome, Welcome home, home, my lady. lady. Your house is immense, I'll say. House Levere and all its grandeur, Sion headquarters must seem squalid indeed. Just admiring the craftsmanship. Will be a little bit nice. Oh God, please don't! It makes me feel like a spoiled princess. I mean, you probably kind of were. Lord Fortuno is not to hear of this visit. And I should also like the children to have their gifts, ere my husband makes his return. As you wish, my lady. Master Alfno, Mistress Alice, if you'd accompany me upstairs, we shan't be long. You're gonna leave me alone with your mom? The twins have been sending letters home from time to time, recounting their latest adventures. I am sure they withhold certain details, of course, if only to keep me from worrying. You know, the whole going to the first and all. Yet a mother worries all the same. In the early days, especially, I tried to support them as best I could, sending the Scions coin and other such donations. Fortunately, they have found the strength to overcome adversity time and time again. Their words grow more confident with every letter, their depictions more vivid. The triumphs and defeats, the joys and sorrows, it is clear that they have come to find value in every experience. But of those they treasure most, it would seem that meeting you might be the most impactful. I mean... Why, since that fateful day, I do believe there has not been a single missive in which you were not mentioned by name. Well, I mean, I am amazing and I do save the world all the time. <laughs> Tis plain they care for you, and I am glad they have such a steadfast companion watching over them. Under normal circumstances, I would offer you tea, but alas, these are anything but. In any event, 
why don't you keep me company whilst we await my children's return? Perhaps you might regale me with a tale or two of your exploits. I thought gifts, so. I wasn't sure what to expect. Like, are they gonna get new outfits? They sure are. Oh, look how well it fits you. And the style is to your liking. It's perfect. Exactly what I would have chosen. But please, tell me you had something different <laughs> made for Alpha. Uh, nope. It's the same thing, only in blue. <laughs> Naturally. You are hardly little children anymore. And while I shall miss dressing you in those precious matching outfits, I must respect the individuals you have grown to become. See for yourself. Thank you for the splendid clothes, Mother. Stylish, comfortable, and eminently practical. I am so glad you like them. They are, however, missing one final touch. If you'd allow me, Master Alpha. Is it a weapon? Crusade weapons? Yup. Well, now you gotta level Sage Alpha now. Wait. Are these. A Sage's tools of the trade? They belonged to your father. Did he wait until he'd equipped them to be like, wait, are these? Oh, maybe he meant, are they his father's? Alice, doesn't get anything new. Though he may as well be chained to his desk these days. As a student, he was often called upon to venture into the field. He wielded those armaments, both to heal and to harm in no few battles. None so fierce as those you two have braved, perhaps, but battles nonetheless. Thus did I pull them out of storage, to show you that he was not always the man who stands in vehement opposition to you now. <laughs> and also because it would be a terrible waste of ridiculously expensive House Leveilleur commissioned artistry. <laughs> I am told these devices are quite difficult to master, but someone of your extensive experience should soon have them darting about with grace and aplomb. May the wisdom in that crystal serve you well. And please, Try to find common ground with your father, that you might come and go without need for this awful subterfuge. We will, Mother. I promise. My final gifts to you, before you run off, are an observation and a suggestion. It's kind of unfair that Alphano got a weapon and a job stone and Alice got nothing. Firstly, Fortuno has ever been a serious man, but it was only after you were born that he truly lost himself in his work. I may not know the forum's inner workings, but I know your father's. The timing of that change in him holds some significance. Secondly, do not seek to best your father with words. Far better that you simply show him. Let him discover the merit of your actions. After they cannot be undone. <laughs> I thought they were frozen there for a second. Oh, mother. 
We shall take your wisdom to heart. Thank you again for these gifts, and farewell for now. Safe travels, my children. Eat well, stay warm, and keep your friends close. That was fun. Well, don't you guys look sharp. We've seen these new episodes on trailers, I think. Alice says at least it's not surprising at all to me. And that was that. Only the gods know when we'll be back again. Thank you for indulging Mother's request. I can see it meant a lot to her, and I uh, shall refrain from inquiring as to the content of your private conversation. <laughs> Our visit was all too brief. For now, however, it will have to suffice, as will these tokens of home that we carry with us. These gifts help us to remember who we are and whence we came. But enough sentimentality. Let us return to the annex and rejoin our companions. Valdesian Annex. Ugh, I don't like this. I know the names of where I want to go. Just let me click on it. have anything new to say? No, probably about the same. Alright. Alice, don't think for a moment that I'm jealous of Alphano's new weapons. They're far more suited to him than me. We left Eorzea in matching outfits, but our styles, both fashion and fighting, have long since diverged. If anything, I'm proud of the differences between us. If I intend to master these sages' armaments, that will mean learning to imbue them with the same ether that I poured into Moonstone and Obsidian. Wait, what? Tis difficult to grasp the essence of such an entity. For me, it will help to think, help to think of the Nullists as allies in battle. Simply a new form of energy which went into manifesting my Carbuncle companions. For us to feel responsible for the schism of House Labayer would be pure hubris. After all, we are merely on the outskirts of what is essentially a family affair. And yet neither can we claim the indifference of strangers. To hear their mother welcome them so warmly was a joy and a relief. As curious as I am to learn the truth of this duty, I wonder what else the forum is hiding. A calamitous secret whose origin lies in the ethereal sea? Duplicity aside, however, I do not believe Master Fortuno means us ill. Even the harsh words he had for his children stem not from anger, I think, but desperation. Alright, what's we'll say you, trial. Enjoy your time with the love of yours, I hope. I would ask how the twins fared, but their new outfits tell the tale. I only hope we can help them reconcile with their father, that they might return home one day with their heads held high. In the meantime, we edge ever closer to the secrets of the forum strives to hide, and the flower bequeathed to you by Hydaelyn is sure to guide us forward. I am confident that once we've heard your report from Thabnir, we'll be well equipped to plot our next move. Alright. I'm going to use this moment to take a quick three minute break. Uh, don't go anywhere. I will be back in just a few minutes. Uh, yeah, let me. I gotta redo this manually. You guys can watch something new. There we go. worse at that part. Yeah, let's not miss 
it's the square. I'm just always trying to like preemptively run over for the ones after it. It doesn't work. Isn't that how it always goes, though? But that was closer than I was expecting it to be, given how some of that run went. Ooh, I got a risky there. Don't fuck this up! <laughs> gets it then I like blow past the number. It's always nice. But yeah, I know the farming farming those riskies and slides is where it's at for improving my score. Forest dub. Ooh, this one's probably not that bad. I've just gotta remember how to do it. Cause I'm I'm a little rusty on on the patterns for this one. Like I don't remember to get all these and I keep to. Oh god, I missed that. Uh, yeah. I assume I kind of need to slide through. And then I'm real bad at hitting all these That was a personal best. Uh, it's like, what, 1500, I think? Yeah, Alba Mignolo, yeah. Because I used to know this one pretty well. Um, oh, too far. How, okay. <laughs> I'll just stop. I remember the patterns. Tricking pull off at the start to get the triple hearts and the big heart, but you don't need to do that. Oh, like on the mushrooms? Okay. But yeah, it's I wanna go for the one. It I know it baits you to go not where you need to. Okay. Really? A trick that you can get both? That's um interesting. Okay, over, back. Go for 
for the one. Better. You can like bounce onto the triple heart while moving left. Yeah, I gotta figure out the pa I'm I used to know the pattern at the start of this one. And I don't know it anymore. Straight hearts are worth more than the big heart, but it's been a I'm pretty sure that I did the math and the big Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right that the three hearts is is better. I remember ha mathing that out at some point, um, but I cannot remember the results of that math anymore. Hello, I am back. Um, we're running out of a little bit of steam, I think. <laughs> Got another three and a half hours. Which, given I've been at this for 10 hours now, doesn't seem like a whole lot. Seems like nothing. Nothing at all. Alright. Ah, <sighs> Kryle, what say you? In the dark of the tower, accept. Since there has been progress in both investigations, shall we share the findings from our respective locales? Your time in Safnir has certainly been eventful. Yep. In my opinion, carrying out Beatra's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exo- mm. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject her. will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea Connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? That's a good question. According to Orenvold and Fudola's report, they were unable to free the Amolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it butt. tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal. Thus, the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. Unless they don't want them to die because they need them. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. Sounds, uh, reasonable. So we can hope, and I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Yeah, why not? We just bust in there. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with, and defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? To what uh, purpose? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Uriange, Kryle, Yostola, and myself. And me! And me! I'm a healer too! The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk. But it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcosodora by a considerable margin. Are you sure Alphano is in the right group? Oh yeah, because he's just uh, just starting. Well, he is a healer. He just has a new job. 
What of Alice she knows? Aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> of course not. As our most talented healer, we need you leading the van, fighting primals <laughs> on the front line. At least they acknowledge me. <laughs> I like that. It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rods at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. I assume that if you're not on a healer class, that you just don't get that third, uh, that third line. The military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging point. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being oh late. Oh god. Enjoy the vomiting, guys. Enjoy the vomiting. Should we be prepared with some drinks on the other side for them? <laughs> or are we just gonna ignore the fact that there's going to be vomiting? Curious to see what happens on the other side. <sighs> All right. Mm. Oh, we are just going to ignore it. All right. Or at least I'm going to ignore it. Hopefully someone else takes care of them. Why are there never any baits up where I need them? What a lame mount. Oh, I was gonna say there's one behind me, but no, it actually, in fact, spawned in front of me. Perfect! I just had to complain about it a little bit. And then the game was like, oh yeah, Ari's coming. Let's give her a fate. Right in her face. Do I dare just run in and holy them all? Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna die. Whatever. I better go home. Oh, ow, it hurts. It hurt. Oh, holy three. Oh god, oh god, no, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Retreat. <laughs> ow. Okay, there's only three on me still. Okay, they're gone. Someone else pulled them? Yeah, okay. Oh, they all got healed up. Sad face. Alright. Yes, cannot attack them all. That was hurty. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work, but indeed it did not. No, oh, you wanna tank them? end up with the ball on me again. I'll make a good tank, but I guess someone else here is still so. Oh, someone who's dying here. Let me, uh, let me take care of you a little bit. Effort has been done to restore the, the stability of Thavnir. All right, let me say so. God, there's so many. <sighs> Is this a path? It looks like a path. 
well. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a path over here. Oh, that guy's cheating! They're on the faster mount. Yeah, it's my own fault. I could be on that too. But I just like mount roulette. I always forget that I could actually be faster. Oh, hey, Rain's over there. I haven't seen Rain in a while. Apparently he's still just ahead of me on quests. Ah, our friends of Eorzea, we've been expecting you. You and yours will lead the mission into the tower, I'm told. The warding scales will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by at the boat we have readied. When your fellows arrive, I will direct them to join you. We pray for your safety and success. Let's go! Wait, did we stop to pick up uh, the talismans? I guess I don't need one. Am I just assuming everyone else is doing the work themselves and I'm just meeting them there? Because they need talismans and they need to stop vomiting. How you guys doing? You ready? Uh, if this is the future of etherite travel, I think I'll stick to boats. <laughs> I uh, no warning, however emphatic, could have prepared me for that. On account of which we are a little late, but fighting fit, mostly. Is this gonna be a dungeon? I haven't done a dungeon yet. Oh yeah, it's Virtra, technically. My friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be, hmm, we should still call you Varshan, I suppose. Indeed, it would not do to confuse our soldiers. Very well then. For our part, we are humbled that you should see fit to entrust us with your warden, warding scales. Please convey as much to his excellency. Um. One for each of you. Please accept them with my blessing. I thought some of them had uh, Echo, too, already. I forget who. Our thanks. With these, we can go anywhere with the blessing of light can go. <coughs> I feel like Elfino's robe is a little long. Kind of looks like he's wearing... I mean, it looks like he's wearing a dress, which is not a problem, but it just doesn't look very... Uh, um, like it looks like it's too narrow, but it wouldn't be very... Uh, Practical, but I mean, I don't think there's anything on the side, so it's probably fine. It just looks a little weird. <coughs> Not only for this operation either, but all of the ones to come. We can finally break your monopoly <laughs> on primals. I've been waiting for the day. I wouldn't mind carrying on as before, you know. In that case, they're all yours from now on. <laughs> uh, but I'm afraid we can't let you retire just yet. You're the scion's brightest star, after all. If everyone is amenable to us, let us review the strategy for good measure. As previously agreed, we will divide into two groups. Uh, me and everyone else. Ari and her band, yeah, that's gonna be done then. We'll break through the, the tower's defenses and locate its core. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners who will doubtless want for healing due to the duress of repeated summonings. The primals with the tower bringeth forth shall be deities of Thavnerian myth. As we have no prior experience with such foes, pray exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. Oh, come on, I just wreck everything. We will commence the operation at your word, my friend. For the people of Thavnir, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Oh, do I not have the option to do trusts? They make it sound like they're all busy. Although the healers are going, but... Hmm. I'm confuzzled. I should be able to do trusts. Are trusts not going to be a thing? Oh no, they're there. Yeah, see, I get to bring the non-healers with me. But yeah, let's... So that I can just, uh... 
take my time and take in the scenery I'm going to do it with my trusts. This is the closest I've ever been to one of the towers. Such a sinister aura it exudes. It's been a while since last I took to the field, and I can't help but feel nervous. But with everyone at my side, I'm sure all will be well. Lest you worry, I've not forgotten my healing spells. Be it restoration or destruction, this sorceress can command whatever magics the situation requires. Aside from primals, within the tower we shall for a certainty encounter enthralled imperial soldiers. Defenders conveyed hither by means unknown who will stop at nothing to hinder our efforts. Though our parties are separate, I will trust in you as I know you will trust in me. Let us both give our all and add another rousing chapter to the saga. What does Varshan have to say? The Radiant Host and I will be watching from the outpost, ready to act at the first sign of unusual activity. May the scales serve you well and protect you in lieu of virtuous fangs and claws. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Form a party. Uh, bring in everybody but Alpha. Wait, isn't Alphano supposed to be with the other group? Oh, I guess he is with this group. Uh, wasn't he? Oh, did they, did Graha only mention those four as healers? Because there was an option to say is an alpha in the wrong group. But it's because this group needs a... Form a party and enter the Tower of Zona. Okay. So I have no option. Oh, Stidian's going to fight with me. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here for this. The Tower of Zot. I'm already one level ahead of myself. Alright, let's go save some elephants. The Tower of Zot and Ilsebard. This is gonna be cool. You know it'd be great? If it ended with a chance to punch Fan Daniel in the face. Oh, they're there. Okay. Um, I need this and I need chat. Maybe a foul place. Let us proceed with caution. Oh. Fancrad and Astinian in in sync, flinging themselves into battle. I love it a tiny little bit, just a smidgen. to borrow a path, the only way is through. I swear I put this chat on another bar. Let me, um, let me see. That's not what I want. My sales chat. Uh, say? BL. Wait, what if I apply? Nope. Battle. NPCs, announcements, NPC dialogue, there we go, oh wait no that just gives me the outside NPC dialogue, is it announcements, yes, okay, I don't actually care about this, or this, the name of that? Yeah. Trust Chad. There we go. Alright, I should, I need to be looking around, taking in the scenery. Uh, 
A Zot Armored Fiend. What are these guys up to? Oh god, it's poor Didana. We'll free you from this place. What are the other ones doing? Just like, healing? Been healing... Didana? I don't know, are they actually just helping? We're all attacking? Okay. Not for this. I feel like party of eight going on right now. Nidhana, we will, we will free you from this place. I sense a great surge of ether, as if a summoning hath begun. Oh dear God! <coughs> oh, it's the, it's the three sisters. Look, those beastly marks. It's Menusia come to life. Where'd they go? Oh, uh, we'll focus. We need to keep going this way. Okay. Oh yeah, we can't jump off the side. All right. Long way down. I got some ac Thank Red, you're doing a bad job of tanking. There you go. Out of curiosity, Glare 3 is. 310. Only turn. 2 is 150. So at two mobs, it is more of oh, thank you, why are you dying? Uh <laughs> it is more damage to single target. I think glare glare would not be though. Uh, okay. Um, Shola said we'll focus on sustaining the arc because that our, uh, Rusty must keep going on and upward. Yeah, we read that already. Okay, cool. Another Zod Armored Fiend. Oh, but we only have the four of us this time. Last time there was eight. I'm not sure that they weren't he just healing, um, Natana. Oh, I love that I can weave at things whenever I feel like it, which means I should probably use Tetra a little bit. My turn! Sporific gas. Thanks for coming out of that thing, I appreciate it. Oh! We opened a new pathway. How convenient. Oh! Oh! We're gonna fight the sisters separately. Okay, interesting. Whatever this being is, we can't let it stand in our way. My sentiments, exactly. All right, this is the youngest one. I forget, I think she was the deity of like crafting or something. All right, stay away from Thancred. Got it. Blizzard, all right. Are you failing on mechanics? Is this what I see here? Thunder. Okay, bio. Get behind. Oh, that was a cool looking. Blizzard 3. I need to stop moving. Oh, what? what is... What is this? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't... Hmm. I wonder what you're supposed to do for that mechanic. 
It didn't seem like the orb was targetable, and standing in the thing seemed to kill me immediately, although I believe I got hit with bio. Um, and a vault stack, all right. Well, that kind of sucks. Huh. Well, maybe I'll just ignore it next time and see what happens. Uh, but the word is stay close to the boss. Because oh, there they all are. Look at them down there. Bye, guys. Don't mind me. Just wipe. Just, just gonna do this again. I just failed the mechanics a little bit. I feel like this tower looks bigger on the inside. Unless we're just like underground and most of it's underground. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Mindru, Min, Minduruva. Stay away from Thankad. Thing over there. Producing and manipulating an orb of ether. So do I have to wait until that goes? I got hit with that. Oh, that's just what causes that to go. Okay, well that was dumb. <laughs> that makes it seem much more complicated than it is. You literally ignore it. Drew pad. What is this? Stab! Oh, it burns! It burns! Yeah, we're all close together. Now you know we're gonna end up running to the other side of the arena. So I put down that thing. Transmute fire. Okay, fire is gonna come off. Uh, she's doing ice. I don't know which one's first. Uh, lightning is first. That's that one. Then we need to be over here. Okay. That's cool. Stinian, what are you yelling about? You underestimate me. I just had a Stinian flashbacks to the, uh, the uh, Airy. So I feel like that's the last time we've seen him in a in a dungeon. We did mine. the Airy together. And he helps us fight Nidhogg. Uh, that's gonna be bio. We're gonna need to be behind that, I think. Oh no, it's ice first, okay. And then bio, we need to be behind. I think that's trying to kill himself. Underestimate me! Tank Buster, oh, Fankhead. Ingenuity is. Okay. <coughs> Sabatons of Bending. What do these look like? Ooh, those are those are pretty. I like that. Oh, this is cool looking. Ah, why do I only get to walk up a few steps? Oh, there's more steps at the top. Um, this is kind of gross looking. Oh, Tempered Imperials. Well, I'm gonna put you guys out of your misery. Thank God, Justinian. 
How about oh. I love them jumping in unison. It's beautiful. I guess I could like use my stacks of thin air for some holy. Why not? What else am I gonna use them for? Gotta practice. Practice using all my stuff, because I always I always wanna get better at using all my abilities and I'm bad at it. So it's a good time. New new expansion. New abilities. Gotta get used to the new timing of stuff. Also to remember to actually target things with <laughs> for misery. Cause holy you don't actually have to target anything, so I always forget to like change my target when my whatever I'm targeting dies. Thank right, you're gonna be fine, right? You don't need so you don't need any help. I don't need to kill you. Fine. That's the way we came in, right? That way, just open a Zot Umbral? What the heck is that thing? It's like being in the belly of a beast. Oh, I'm missing, um... Uh, you fought well, Alice. I was in good company. It's like being in the belly of a beast, yes. Aw, Estinian complimented Alice. Are they gonna be friends again? I know Alice was a little salty when she first met Estinian, because he mistook her for Alphano, but, uh... I always, f I figured when they were gonna meet that Alice was gonna have a crush on him, and I feel like right before they met, Alice said that she basically that she thought she was gonna have a crush on him, and then he mistook her for Alphano, and then she wished death upon us. <laughs> All right, oh, hyper tuned. Hyper Ooh, that's so pretty though. I mean, the red on it. I like how that looks. So fancy. Slashy slash. Not standing that. Thank her. Did you? Are you standing just outside my bubble? You underestimate me. Grumble, grumble, grumble. You mind. You underestimate me. A ring of fending. Apparently, the game wants me to be a tank. What kind of actually? What um? <sighs> we got some boots. Uh, what I level are they? Five twenty. I think I'm five thirty though, right? So until I need to see stuff higher than five thirty. Yeah, it makes sense that the new dungeon doesn't quite. The first dungeon doesn't give me better stuff. I seem to recall that from previous uh, things. targets I should be single targeting. You're mine. All right. Can we get to another boss soon? This? Stand inside the bubble. Managed to do that by preferably dodging stuff to the side and not running away from it. My turn. I need to there. Oh, my shoulders are getting sore. But I have been sitting here for quite some time now. Oh, it's been it's now been 12 hours since I got up. That's lovely. You might. I don't. I I think I was awake. For I was trying to get back to sleep, but uh, it didn't go so well. I, 
think we're supposed to go this way. It's Joker offend. <laughs> they really want me to do tank stuff. I wonder what that looks like though, because sometimes um, there's been some necklaces that look cool. Uh, no, that's not particularly. Oh, that looks like a dragon though wrapped around. Yeah, I mean it's cute, but uh, it's not very versatile. All right, Sandaruba. I forget what she was. The same sister the Fisher Lad told us about. The same sisters, yes. Oh, just like in the picture, we're facing the Mage's sisters. Oh, I wonder how Yashola and the others fare. The same sisters the Fisher Lad told us about. Yes, yes. Come on, boys. Have at it. Oh, I need to be better at putting up uh, shields, especially now that there's no reason not to, since I can weave it in. Also, slide casting is going to be much easier now. Is that targeting everybody once? into this free hole. Explosive fort. Alright, looks like we want to be right up against- the oh yes! Alright, there's very little safe spot. Good thing I- Good thing I moved. What's this Dinian has? Shadow of the Dragon. Oh! Drawing on power inherited from Nidhogg. Alright, cool. Uh, what does this mean? We'll be frozen in time. Okay, um... Huh. I guess that targets everybody one at a time and try not to get hit by more than one? Seems like you just want to spread out with that. Confused. What does it say? Confused and unable to accurately perceive the surroundings. Uh, wait, where did they all go? Oh, shoot. Oh god, I'm so fucked. Okay, I'm not- I'm not actually dead. Oh, I'm just gonna stand in this bad. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. Alright, I'm fine. Fine. Easy peasy. Don't stand near thank god. A little bit of a failure. Uh, mechanics. How did they- I don't know how to determine- I saw them all run off somewhere and then I didn't see where they went. <laughs> Alright, stop. So we want to just spread out here. Uh, oh, and we have different timers on it. Okay. Can you guys not all stand in a line? Let's have a look at what we got here. Okay, we got a bunch of dancing ones. Is it the one that's standing still? Yes. That's what I suspected. Alright! Success! I'm glad they gave me another chance at that mechanic. I love the Destinians. Oh, wonderful! I do love guessing games. Oh, wait, what's going on? There's been a whole bunch of chat. Oh, Sandaruba was yelling stuff. The tower must be protected. We will not let it fall. You will not steal away our prosperity. We hear it. We heed it. The call to defend the tower. The Sinian is like, what nonsense is this? Alice A is like, what? Ugh, spare me. Thank God. <laughs> Wonderful. I love guessing games. Sandaruba, if I alone cannot expel you, the Sinian, protective of the tower, aren't they? Thank God. Compelled by Telophoroi magics, I imagine. Yep. All right. Who wants the best? Gonna be tank gear. Oh, casting. Casting pants. Let's see what these things look like. Mm. I mean, they're not bad, but they're more pants than I, uh, than I like to wear. Ooh, we got more of these cool stairs. I'm sad I, I want to run up more than just, like, the first few steps. Are we going to be out of this gross area? Okay, cool. Oh! 
Oh right, we were trying to get to the core. I guess it makes sense that we've been working our way upward. The ether up here is thick as syrup. Oh, interesting. Estinian, what are you doing taking damage? I don't think this is the way that we came. Uh, oh yeah. They look creepy from the back. That looks like a mouth, but it's not. It's like their butt. Thank you. Miss Dinian? Bling yourself? There we go. Oh, there's only two, so I should be... Treasure copper. What are we gonna get? Casting. Casting earrings. What is this part for? Nothing. Get a lovely view of things. What is that? Well, that's the bottom of the corner. We're working our way over there. Slowly. numbers are we putting out? But yeah, I'm at like 10k-ish. Sister. Somehow I suspect that the other sisters we defeated are gonna gonna show up.
last one. <sighs> oh, the mage is just, yeah, we gotta fight them all. Uh, ugh, we're close. And now this. Mapping the round. Oh, it shows you how many achievement points you get now. Ooh, I like. I like that. Because I like achievement points. Can I go over here? No. Okay. Go, Thangra. Go, Thangra. Sam Sara, what does that do? Hey, we are. We got sister. I actually don't want to stand in the middle of that. Yeah, that seems to be all. Don't stand in there. Oh, oh God. Oh, we do actually have to fight them. I'm hoping they make this go away. Seems like it's You're not nice. gonna happen. Estinian, stop th stacking with Thangred. All of them did. What's wrong with you guys? I'll say you're attacking the wrong one. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Estinian. Oh, they just died real quickly. Oh, does that mean we should have been targeting them? Like, would that have gone better? I didn't realize that they were going to die that quickly. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, you were long dead. 
head, so those animations are kind of weird. <laughs> no, I don't look particularly happy. I guess we don't celebrate. I guess so, because, yeah, it, the summoning of, of them hurts. Uh... Oh, I, I missed... Um... Uh, would have been quicker to fight all three at once. Thanks, Estinian. <laughs> Please don't tempt fate like that. <laughs> uh, Alright, what do you guys have to say? From what I can tell, the summonings appear to be over. No belief is sacred to these Talaparai. They were nimble fighters, I'll give them that. That seems to have been the limit of the tower's defenses. I don't know about that. Seems awfully uh, optimistic. What the heck is that? That's a weapon for ninja. Sage. Oh. Well then. What do these look like? Huh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's pretty. The Tower of Zod has ended, but like, I'm still supposed to save people. Are we gonna save people? We're gonna destroy the core. No, destroy the core, that's what we needed to do. Here we go. How are we gonna destroy this thing? Uh, apparently we don't know. Is everyone all right? Yep, we're fine. Are you guys all right? We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. For the moment. The lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. Um, can Nishtola see anything? Or is it just like blinding? I'd love to hear her take on it. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Ishtola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. Oh, she can see useful things. This is the core we seek. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. Tis as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. That seems like a bad idea. This ominous sound would, uh... Curious. There is something there embedded inside the core. Uh-oh. What are we gonna find? What are we gonna find in it? Oh. A man's limb. Just a single limb? This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you'll be so kind. No, oh, Stinian's gonna get the honors. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's gonna do bad things. And that should be the end of it. <laughs> oh, Alpha now. What now? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction doth appear to be correct. Can we teleport out? Bully for you! And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Below. Apparently. The floor beneath our very feet dissolves. Brace yourselves. Apparently, we didn't think very far in advance. What's gonna happen if I we just pray I'm not the tower? too late. Nope. You just teleporting everything somewhere else. Girl, what did you just do? Oh. 
Bodies everywhere. Are we alive? Well, I'm alive. Is anyone else alive? What is her name? Nidana? I don't see her. I don't see her. She had like a blue dress, didn't she? It's not any of those. Oh, what happened? Where are we? Uh, where, where the tower once was and it's gone. By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood, but it is as if it never existed. Are the Matanga alive? Hardly a scratch. But how? Graha, are you okay? He's not dead. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. It's a lot. That explains the lack of obvious injuries. Oh, the purple. That's, uh, that's gotta be her. Is he dead? The expenditure of so much ether has okay. taken its toll. He just needs to rest. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. That's like something Ishtola would do. Except she only does crazy things to save herself. I guess Graha Then the immediate problem too. is what to do with our new friends here. I mean, wake them up. Patch them up. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. I have every faith in you, Alizé, but there are just too many for you to treat alone. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porksies, and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions! Hey, Varshan. You see what we did? We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? Mm, we destroyed the tower. The threat is banished, and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment, and we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. Who just overwrote our something with meat and mead? Who did that? You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. It's Natana. Who did this? Clay. Which one did he overwrite? some notification oh that was clay asking if i cared if he takes down the sprint buff like an hour and a half ago oh did he send me a message oh no no he did not
Alright. Whew! Carrying all this Matanga made <laughs> them the true struggle. <laughs> Good job there, uh... Asun. Where'd everybody else? The liberated prisoners are being tra transported to Raz at hand for treatment. Alice and Yasholo will oversee the administration of the tempering treatment, with support from those who know a healing spell or two. We'll go and join them in the city once you've had a moment to catch your breath. I don't need a moment to catch my breath. It's already caught! You may now enter Tower of Zot with a party of NPC avatars. To make use of this feature, open the trust interface located under the duty menu. Okay, I'm curious. How does this work? Hmm. Huh. Alright. I guess they still start at 81. Interesting. But like, what if I picked uh, Paul Gaffin? Then Reen is 80. I wonder how that would work with um, if you were less than 80. Yeah, this doesn't really help me because I have them all to 80, so it makes sense. But yeah, I guess maybe they do all just become 81. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I guess they must have started at 71. But my question is, does it bump them up to 81 and you don't ever have to level them? Or does it keep track of their 71 to 81 levels separately? Oh! Oh, wait! Okay, nope. There you have a below 80 and above 81. Oh, wait, no, that's how much they'll... What? Is this how much XP they'll get? Oh. Huh. Here. Uh, I need to send this to... I need to send this to Clay. Oh, let me clear this notification. Oh my god, why are there so many people? Alright, I don't actually want to do this. I was just curious because me and Clay had a uh, extensive discussion about how it's going to work. And I didn't think, I thought you were going to have to actually level them. But, uh... But yeah. Alright, sorry, my uh, massage therapist is sending me messages. She wants to do December 28th, which I think is probably fine. Uh, 
which day of the week is the 28th? That's a Tuesday. Mm, th yeah, that should be fine. Let me update my calendar. I was supposed to have a massage on the 18th, and now it's gonna be the 28th, which is my birthday, and it was supposed to be my birthday massage anyways, so that works for me just fine. Oh. No, she wanted it to be at 3.30, so I gotta fix the time still. 3.30. Cool. Cool and cool. Oh, did Clay respond? Enough of that. Let me get back to actually playing this game. Estinian, uh, do you have anything new to say? No. Thancred. The Jewel of Thavnir. Thancred is rested and ready to set out. Wait, he said I needed to rest, but uh, really he wanted to rest. Had enough rest, have you? You never won were one for being idle. Right. Varshan bade us come to the Meg Megaduda at our earliest convenience. The others will join us there once they've finished tending to the prisoners. Oh, I think I want to queue for another, um, another dungeon. I'm leveling roulette. Ah, wait, on second thought, you and Astinian should go on ahead. I need to make a quick detour by the great work. We left Graha and the alchemist carry, you see? Best fetch him before he's crammed into a specimen jar. <laughs> just you and me, then. Ooh, just me and Astinian. The guardsmen at the gate should wave us through. Alright, so let's get into queue, because this will probably take a while. <sighs> they need tanks for everything. Not surprising, since tank is the one job that didn't get added. Let's see what kind of... Oh! Insta-queue. Alright, well, I'll take it. Can I repair my gear? Let's, let's do it right in here. Oh, nice! Oh, I guess, no, you know what, it makes sense that it would throw me, because people leveling Sage would probably not be up to here yet, or very few of them. So there'd be a lot of Sages for uh, lower stuff. Not so much for here. Oh, forgot. Forgot that it's not my NPCs. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're not done yet either. Oh, dear God. Where are we going?
god. life easy. Alright, that's gonna be a thunder. Nope, 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 don't stand there. Oh, they're super not dead. Nope, don't, don't. <laughs> don't need to stand on that. Don't worry, I learned it the hard way too. <laughs> God. Oh, I forgot how much healing people who can't, who, well, I don't want to say can't do mechanics. It's the first time. They're just not doing the mechanics. Um, but it just makes healing that much more difficult. Got the treasure copper. What loot did we get? Oh, what do these look like? They look exactly the same. I kind of want these, not gonna lie. Yoink! Even though you can't really die them, they're not that useful, but they're pretty. Ready.
don't care but gloves. It's been so long since I've done dungeons with like random people, I forgot that you got more loot. <laughs> I don't remember what mechanics this one did. I thought the mechanics from the first one were the second boss. This is the one, oh no, it was the first one that I died to. Alright, don't tank with the tank. Let's stand with the tank. Oh right, this is where you want to spread out on the... Um Which one's not dancing? Oh, I totally want to pull that guy. into it. Thank you. Which one is not dancing? This one. Which way are we going? This way. To the treasure coffer! Mm, earrings are pending. So much fun. Wait, what was we in the second loop? Well, <sighs> one 
I've been, it's been a while since I've done big pulls because I've done so much leveling with just, uh, my trust. Because I did all the dungeons when I was going through with Haley and trust. I didn't do any other dungeons, so. Just done a lot of trust lately. And they don't do big pulls. <laughs> so I've not done a whole lot of big pulls lately. After I'd done the first dungeon. Uh, no. Oh dear god. Nope, nope, you're fine. You're fine. Easy, easy. <laughs> no big deal at all. <laughs> That's a lovely outfit, this one. <laughs>
some treasure coffer, a longbow that I really don't need. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't care to stay. I don't care about commendations. It's fine. Wait, did I get a drop? It's supposed to give you a drop too, isn't it? Uh, gauntlets of healing. Okay, I've got hands. What do these things look like? Oh my goodness, those are um, something else. All right, well, apparently I'm supposed to go up this way. I wonder, I'm gonna go around the top and see if we can unlock uh, some more of this map. Although I suspect I will be then too low. No, we gotta go down this way. I don't think that's gonna help me at all to be down there. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a bait that has an XP bonus that has not started yet. Presumably, these people are maybe going over towards it. What am I doing with unlocking? There's one to the west? Oh wait, is it up top? 138 yelms to the west, is that... Oh yeah, it's right there. Interesting. What is this area over here, though? Can I just, like, jump over and unlock a new area on my map? The Perfumed Rise! Alright. I got a bit more uncovered. I think, yeah, I think I've uncovered everything that I can. Yeah. The rest is in the other area. Oh, I got distracted. Oh, they haven't started it yet. No one started it. It's fine. I got lots of time. Looks like maybe. Oh, looks like it started now. Oh, it's a turn in one. That should be easy enough to do. Are the ones that you start at a person always turn in one? I don't think so. But I feel like a lot of them are. even though it helps only me. Oh, that person's chocobo just died. Oh no. Oh no, everything's gonna be on me now, isn't it? That person brought it over here to like get off them, I think. All right, let's... I will target whoever is tanking and well, I'll see whoever's tanking and I'll just make some effort to keep them alive. After this, I'm doing my turn in, so I'm getting out of here. Let's let that one. Seriously. Seriously, guys. You're gonna not kill that one? Alright, whatever. I only have six? How do I only have six? How 
How did we lose that one? I don't understand. I was trying to die. Alright, when this group is dead, I'm doing a turn in. Getting out of here. Although, I suppose I'm gonna end up zoning, so it's not gonna really help. I'm not gonna get credit for it. Maybe I'll go play Triple Triad for a little bit. Oh, didn't mean to grab that last one. Alright, how many do I have now? Only eight? How? How? I killed so many more than eight. That's just frustrating. Whatever, I'm out of here. Oh, there's another. That one's dumb. But whenever they finish it, I'll get credit. Alright, I can work on this. Let's pull one thing at a time. I tried running in and grabbing everything for a different thing and it went poorly because I am not a tank and I am a squishy healer and I almost died. Oh, I just thought it felt like really late, but it's only 3 o'clock. It's probably because I've been up for a long time now. Progress. How's this one coming along? Okay, 100% it'll end me. I kind of think I might leave soonish. Oh, I got 83 um, off that dungeon, I think. I just didn't realize it. <laughs> so I'm still in 81 quests, I think. Doing well. So finally, <laughs> come to town. See how people are doing. Oh, I got. Oh, I bet you I need. Oh, I don't need if I need a Sahagin card. Oh, I would have got that. For, yeah, no, that would have come from. Uh, I did Sestasha for my first, my first leveling roulette. But Mage's sister, I definitely need that. So when I get off my mount, I shall use that if I happen to remember. Oh, should I check the weapon too? Sometimes these weapons look really cool. 
I should. I don't care about hat. I don't care about hands. I don't really care about feet. Um, unless they happen to look really cool. Alright, Astinian, what say you? With the tower gone, I expect the state of alert will be lifted. Maybe. Ah, honored scions, you are free to enter at your leisure. Ah, oh, they love us at Raza Han, unlike Charlotte. <laughs> Not so much fans of us. As I kind of leave my post, I'm afraid you must make your own way. Should you require directions in the city, a sentry stationed at the fountain atop the steps should be glad to assist you. Does that mean... Is Raza a hand like a whole city? That I can hang out in? It sure is. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, very nice. Though I have been to Raza hand before, this place is a veritable maze. Rather than risk getting lost, we'd best ask for directions from the sentry at the fountain. Lead the way and don't expect me to act as a tour guide like certain others. Estinian is not accompanying you. Alright. Let's go, Estinian. Oh, it's so colorful here. Can I attune to Etherite before I attune to the main one? I think so. Oh, so now I'm going to make you hate walking around with me. Maybe. Ah, Mr. Sorry, I presume. I understand you're here for an audience with the Satrap. If you require just directions to Megaduda, I should be glad to provide them. The Satrap's residence is situated in Dharma, the highest part of Razadhan. To get there, I would ordinarily recommend a route that takes you by the bazaars in the city's north. Due to the state of alert, however, that's not been lowered, you, most businesses are currently closed and the Etherite disabled. Oh, as such, I will provide you with an alternative path. First, please ascend the steps next to the fountain, then continue left. Which steps? Those ones? Um, there will be more steps upon ascending them you will emerge at Pax's path. And proceed through the large doors on the right, and you will arrive at Ruvida Fibers. Within you will find another sentry who can give you further guidance. In other words, we head up. Sounds straightforward enough. Mm, oh, those steps? It does seem like that's the direction we need to go in. We're heading up. Oh. Oh, there's a thing. Come come with me, Estinian. Let's go look at this door. I'm curious to see what he says. Estinian? Be a tour guide. Discuss the sumptuous portal. Ah, yes, I know about this portal. It leads to a nearby isle, the treasure vault of one Raza's hands, wealthiest families. I thought you were going to be a tour guide. They took the god of luck for their guardian, on account of which they occasionally open up a section of their vaults for aspiring treasure hunters to try their luck, or so they say. There are also coffers hidden across the land that act as portals. Find one, and you will gain access to the vault. Treasure coffers. Something to bear in mind in case you exhaust your funds while on the road. Which is a troublesome experience, as I can personally attest. <laughs> Wait, I, I seriously, Sydney, you said you were gonna be my tour guide, and then you were like the most wonderful tour guide. That was that was lovely. I could not have asked for a better tour guide. Is there any jumping puzzles here? I guess we didn't really have jumping puzzles in, um... Um... Shadowbringers. Watchful Radiant, or did we? I don't know. I only remember the ones in Kagane. That was the best. Heading to Megudeda, are you? In that case, please follow this hallway to my right and through the doors at the top of the stairs. You'll emerge at the entrance to the airship landing where another sentry should be hidden. Okay, to his right. That's that way then, right? Incidentally, if you ascend the steps to either side of me, you'll find the workshop of Rudiva Fibers. Though you're free to observe the artisans, uh, take care not to lose your way. Oh, uh, okay. So if you go this way, then this is where they have artisan stuff. Potato surprise! Wait, where's that door lead? Hmm, I guess. Somewhere that you cannot go. Alright, but I'm pretty sure I was told to take these stairs. Yes. Yep, 
If you're here for an airship, I'm afraid all flights have been suspended until further notice. So the state of alert is still in effect. Perhaps it's for the best. That aside, we're not here for an airship. We have business at the Megu Mega Juda. Oh, in that case, permit me to direct you. From here, it's quite simple, really. Ascend these steps, then continue straight across, it. straight ahead and across the bridge. You cannot miss it. But first, I want to attune. Astinian, be my tour guide. <laughs> Discuss Dharma. Ah, I remember passing by here with Varshan. The situation being what it was, he regretted not being able to show us the sights. Life here is yet to return to normal, but when it does, you ought to pay another visit. Though the city is confusing, the food is quite good. I'm partial to Hamsa myself. The meat is surprisingly tender and flavorful. Aren't these Hamsas? So he likes eating dodo meat? Is that it? Squawk, squawk! Is it upset? <laughs> he likes eating them? Wait, where am I supposed to go now? I assume this way. Uh, no 30 second sprint. Damn play. Welcome to Megaduda. May I acquire after your business? We are members of the Sign of the Seventh Dawn. Come at the invitation of His Excellency. Uh, of course, we've been expecting you. I will show you to the audience chamber if you would please follow me. Let's go hang out with Vertra. I like these elephants with the like planters at the top. I noticed it in a couple cutscenes last time, but. By the time I noticed it, I couldn't find it out. Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. You okay there, Much Braha? better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Thanks to you, Graha. Valiant Sirens, for your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. You cast down that dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Pray accept your due reward, along with the goodwill of Radzatan. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected, and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. Where the heck's that? Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. 
know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Oh. Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. Twould seem we share the same desire for peace, great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay. When war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not, save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydralin to whom you must look for answers. Did we ever tell them about my discussion with Hydralin? I feel like we got distracted immediately afterwards. Seeking to divine the, the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Tis a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire I once posed the question, Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, was the last bastion of hope. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Telophoroi is far from finished. Now we know how to destroy towers. Until they figure out how to prevent us from destroying towers, that way. 
There's we must take our leave, destroy. but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. Privy, a moment. Oh, Richard wants to talk to me privately. There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Eorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. It sure is. Midgard, Smyr, and I have crossed paths, yes. I only wish he could be here with us now. Wait, did he die? When did he die? I don't remember. I do vaguely remember that happening, but I can't remember when it happened. I knew it to be so. From man and dragon alike have I learned of thine exploits. T'was a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained amidst God's summer's trust. But alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. Why? For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads Of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Amidst this tangled knot thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces, A struggle without surcease. Sorry. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Oh. oh, I feel bad about that. Oh. You sail. Munbrita. Papalimo. Ninfilia. Harsh font. Thanks. Thanks for that uh, trip down memory lane there, Vitra. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou wilt need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain. I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Again. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. Do I ever spare any effort to keep my loved ones safe? I don't think so. Are they like, Ari, where are you coming? Ah, apologies. We hadn't meant to interrupt. Then what did you mean to do, Althano? It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out... <laughs> ah. Tis I who must apologize. I have detained your champion over long with idle chatter. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall. Where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. Apologies again. I hope we didn't force you to conclude your conversation prematurely. No, that's fine. I was falling asleep. <laughs> so what were you and Virtra talking about? Oh, you know, stuff. Nothing? Very well, if you say so. Oh, just sad things. The others have gone ahead to the Kai Crucible. Let's catch up to them. 
The color of joy. Ooh, I get some Archon Loaf. Why? Why do I get Archon Loaf? Elfino has a mind to join the others at the High Crucible. The attendant was kind enough to give me directions to the High Crucible. First, let us return to the Mulberry Orchard. Um, Alright, if you say so. I like that they have to do this in steps. They can't just like send me the whole way. They're like, you'll never make it. I can look at a map, you guys know, right? That's not so crazy. Yeah, they sent me, what, like, that way, and then, like, that way, and then, like, up there. I understand the mulberries are for the silkworms. Grown a stone's throw away from the satraps' residence. It gives the quintessential Thevnerian flair, don't you think? Sure. From here, we're supposed to follow the path left and past the mulberries. Alright. I actually want to go up here down, down here. This is into a different room. That looks kind of cool. Excuse me. Is this where they do the crafting? Hmm, seems like it. Alright. Wait, that's definitely a different room than I was in before. Wind weft, because I was in this. Oh, I was in this room, and then I came back out here. So if I'd gone that way, I would have found that. All right. Ethernet shard. Let me attune. Yeah, I got a bunch. Wait, that's the fibers, but it's down below. The world used apparently means bind in the local tongue, and this district is so named because it connects all the others in the city. If we manage to come this far, we shouldn't have any trouble finding the High Crucible, or so I was told. Where the street turns, enter the door straight ahead, and then descend the steps. I thought the Castarium was confusing, but it doesn't compare to Radza Han. The architecture and decorations make it even harder to get your bearings. Anyways, let's see where this door takes us. Well, somebody else just went through there, so... Hopefully it's the right one. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> Yay, the main aether right. Whew! Seems we're on the right track. And here's the aether right plaza. So far so good. There isn't much further to go. From here we just need to cross the other side of the hall, then pass through the larger of the two doorways. The high crucible lies beyond. I expect the others are already collected. The warding scales. Come, let us join them. Alright, we go through the larger door. But first let me attune. Uh oh. It's been temporarily disabled. Oh. Why would you do such a thing? Let me check my some retainers back out. I just need another hour and a half. I can do it. <sighs> We're at 12 hours now, though. I mean, I'm still into the story. I have no issue, like, continuing this, but I'm just starting to, well, been getting sleepy all day. Though the land hath been afforded a respite, in turmoil do many others languish still. Our work is far from finished. Thanks, Ariane You took your time, got turned around, I take it. Uh, no, just had a little chat with Vertra. I'm important, you know, Thangred. Excellent! You're in time to hear the latest good news. Oh, latest good news? You mean we've had more good news? We've, we've had previous good news? The students have previously returned to Radza Hand's alchemist for help with analysis of various artifacts. That's how I became acquainted with Nitana. I'm glad we could rescue her. I pray she makes a full recovery. I'm quite well now, I assure you. As they say, the stronger the taste and stranger the color, the more effective the remedy. 
With my body trying to replenish the ether I spent, however, I'm feeling rather famished. I think a sampling of the local delicacies is in order. Hamza cuisine would be a good place to start, perhaps. I love that Anastinian is always leaning. As I heard it, after you defeated Nidhogg, his scales found their way into the hands of the Firmament's artisans. Steeped in power as they are, it's no, survive it's no surprise that they were coveted. Still, it's a strange legacy for the vengeful worm. Nope, oh, that's a person. What an immense laboratory! How much space such places were enlisted to help to forge, forge it, to forge the warding scales? I wonder. All right, Alice, what's the good news? We're last, of course, but at least we found the place. These are the talismans we were promised. Oh, it's echoey in here. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. I hope none of them are faulty. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. I like how you think, Ishtola. Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. She's very committed to this plan of hers. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. I can head eastward. Bosnia and Dalmaska are just a short hop from here. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Please, I must speak with you. Nitana, what are you doing? Shouldn't you be in bed? Nidana, you're awake. Is she gonna tell us the talismans are faulty and someone's trying to Yes, when us? I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnair from an awful fate. Yet who hath truly saved whom? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work that. now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. The talisman? Is this true? Rocky from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Did she just chase us down to say thank you? 
Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. Uh, what? Oh, the flower. What does Look this at mean? That. Its color is completely changed. What do you have there? Some weird flower that Heidelin gave me. How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. To what? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feelings. You imply that it is distinct from ether? Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach, a gift bestowed from on high or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, Surely you've experienced moments of desperation or <laughs> exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. Yep, I'll be uh, limb breaks. <laughs> That's how limit breaks are. That is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. Nonsense! You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the Annex. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here yes. onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Arthur's just like, what are you doing to me? It's booping in the... Booping him in the noop. Nidhana's still here. Oh, Millie's here. The last thing I remember before being absorbed into the tower was you rushing towards me. I can only imagine the hardships you and yours must have got had to overcome and rescue us. No amount of words will suffice to express my gratitude, but I hope the flower's radiant glow says everything I cannot. Alright. Uh, I want to take a quick three-minute break. That's not what I need. Um, so, don't go anywhere. I'll be back momentarily.
I missed the square. I saw it there. Uh, whoop, I just like alt tab somehow out of that. Uh, the coin mini might be entered by the card when you jump over to another coin. I think it's also right where I just missed one too. <laughs> I'm glad it pauses when I alt tab. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm not gonna take that by that. <laughs> I know. Okay, it's not just me that thought I should be dead. Alright, I'm glad. <laughs> well, that's a new personal best. I missed two squares, so definitely room for improvement there. Clipping them. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I don't know how I'm not dead. Uh, all right. There's so much to remember on this one. It's probably why it's a little bit more forgiving. It's so long. Although the other long one's not very forgiving. Uh, what Doki Doki Rush versus the other one? The long one is what I'd say. Where are all my riskies? I didn't get any riskies on that. I'm just not risky enough. Alright, let's not run into a wall here. Oh, I think I missed that. Let me see how close. <laughs> I do want to review. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. I mean, I think, <laughs> I don't think I technically went through that, but yes, I was as close to that as I could be. Uh. I'm getting too good at this now. I'm not getting riskies. I'm not like sideswiping through. Uh, yeah, I got a long way to go on this one. Oh. Those riskies are fickle. All right. I get so many more when I don't know what I'm doing, though. I feel like that one's a square that's easier, that I, I feel like I screwed, wow, I'm even, I'm getting worse, getting worse at this part, here I was like, oh, I should get 10k, no, I, like, need my 9k again. Alright, is it coming up here that it's the, um... that I missed last time. I don't remember where it is anymore. I think I missed some hearts there. Uh, also, epic failure. There! Ah, go to the side! Okay. Okay. What am I doing? 
miss that other one too? I need to learn the right spots. Uh, those are the hardest ones. You can't see them coming or like plan for them. I guess you can if you remember where they are. All right, new personal best. Over here. Miss. Oh, I should have just left it to the wall, probably, at that point. I'm back. Don't worry. I didn't fall asleep. I just uh, had a few more things to do on my break than I expected. Also, I got myself some tomato juice. So I get some veggies in my life for today. Not the most ideal way to consume veggies, but uh, it's my favorite way to consume veggies. All right. What do I? What do I need? Where do I need to go? Oh yeah, I'm going back to. Well, I can't attune to the main ether right here, so I don't know why. Can I help you? You coming up? Do you need more space? What? <laughs> what? Are you trying to <laughs> come up or not, Arthas? What are you doing? <laughs> I wish I was out of this cutscene so I could leave the show chat. What's going on? Do you want to come up here? There you go. The silly butt. Alright. Oh, did he. Does this guy have the new face? Oh, he's good. Arthur's butt! Why is your butt in my face? You want my tomato juice? Yeah, did you just stick your tongue in it and decide no, you didn't want it? Oh, alright, who's here? Kryle? Anybody else here to talk to? No? Okay. It's good to be back with the fruit of our labor safely in storage. For now, we have to but wait for the others to return from their respective meetings with the Alliance leaders. As Sankrat suggested, you should get some rest in the meantime. Oh, no rest for me! Welcome back, Ari. Kyle has apprised me of your recent accomplishments. What an amazing feat to eliminate a tower and pave the way to deal with the rest. Well, it isn't much. I've changed your sheets and fluffed up your pillow. After all, there's nothing like collapsing a nice clean bed after completing a major milestone. Be it penning a thesis or defeating deform <laughs> entities. So, would you like to take a look at your new and improved lodgings now? I mean, are they going to be any different? Looks awfully similar. The flower. I miss, um, what's his face visiting me in my rooms? Take heart and protect them well. Who the heck is this? Who's at my door? I'm supposed to be resting. Who's bothering me? Better be a Stinian. Fine. Good, you're here. You haven't eaten yet, have you? <laughs> We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Well, you didn't bring a Stinian with you, though. Wait, where did 
Oh, Estinian's off uh, adventuring, that's true. Wait, no, is he? No, I don't think he went. It was Yastrola, Thancred, and Uriange. Where did Estinian go? Man, that's a big burger. <laughs> Nothing's bigger than his head. <laughs> Alice is not a fan of pickles. <laughs> oh, well, Alpha, no, don't pretend that you're all. Lest you classy. wonder, we invited a stadium as well. I did wonder. But he refused with a rather grim faced no thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. Can I give him a call? He'll come if I ask him to. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. <laughs> Carl's so what? cute. To perfect his brooding stare. Yes. Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. <laughs> An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Thanks, Alphano. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. <laughs> Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quile, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. I'm kind of surprised that burgers exist uh, in this world. And what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. Oh, I need to plug my phone in for a little bit. If anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. There we go. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Weren't you there? I guess she doesn't remember when she was, uh... Twill be your guide. <sighs> Test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. Indeed, and in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlophoroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. To the swift, the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. Levitator. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume. Aye. And from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. It was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I... Uh, yes, well... Is she giving him the other fashion. half or just pointing at him with it? I think she's trying to give it to him. They're tall, you see. The shelves, they're too tall for me. 
And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, we ate everything. Dropped a few treats. We're gonna go there. Somehow. Sometime. Are we pushing on to dawn? Shall we call it a night? Do you know these are my quarters? Shall we call it a night? One last cup of tea, then. Dickon said this brew helps relax the mind before bed. And gave us some leaves for free. What is Krala doing with all of that? <laughs> it's glowing green. Do we not notice it? I feel like this flower is supposed to be us collecting crystals. <laughs> Just, we're collecting flower colors. So emotions. Who the heck is this? Oh. I'm sad I asked. Oh, we didn't see him for so long. Almost forgot he existed. And pendant. Ah! Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or... Well, never mind that. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled. And I need not tell you by whom. It was me! Screw you guys. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. Ah, uh, yes, very well then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly. Talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow, until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn, burn, let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. <laughs> I thought he was How just gonna walk away. <laughs> that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. 
I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you, And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes, I think that is something we can both enjoy. Yay, achievements! Wait, where am I? Who's got, who's got a quest for me? Where? Oh, there she is. I was like, I know it's in here somewhere. I hope you don't mind us barging into your room with our for our late night feast. For what it's worth, it did me a whole world of good to put our troubles to one side, if only for a moment. Sound the bell, school's in. All right. Crowl and gratitude. We're having a pleasant, pleasant conversation until you barged in. What? They love me. Oh, there you are, feeling refreshed, I hope. I was about to wait, make my way to the studium as it happens. I wanted to try to speak with Skolarch Montashane and thank him for coming to our rescue at the Rostra. As it turns out, he'd come here to see us following the hearing, only to find we'd already departed for Thabnir. Knowing him, he was probably hoping to chew the cud with, some, with his former students. Since we're still waiting for Yashol and the others, I thought now the perfect time... Uh, my screen just turned off. There it is, back. <laughs> just went black. Um, I thought now the f perfect time to pay him a visit. Care to join me? I'm playing with a cord, so with my toe, so I might have pulled on something. <sighs> Do I have a choice? Then it's settled. The twins will be coming too, assuming Alphano can tear himself away from his new toys. I'll let you rally the troops while I go on ahead to the phenomenon. Considering my recent impropriety, perhaps I should avoid showing my face around the studio for a time. That might be for the best. The others, should, if the others should return, tell them we will not be long. All right, hold on a second. I got a Discord message. Do you have anything else to say? Unlike some of the signs, I'm not an alumni of the studio. As such, I have no acquaintance there. I'm obliged to visit. Uh, I feel like I read that. All right, where am I going? Oh, literally, right over here. Okay. Oh, Alphano's practicing being a sage. If Father can master these fiendish contraptions, then so can I. <laughs> Heading out for a stroll? Not quite. The scholar himself was here. In that case, what are we waiting for? I too am eager to see him, though I somewhat dread the thought of visiting the studio. I dare say our notoriety precedes us. Alphano of all people worrying over his reputation, and at our alma mater no less, 
Well, wonders never cease. You'll understand soon enough. Off we go. No, I cannot get on my map here. Where am I going? Oh, the, there's a ether right up there. Uh, this one. Alright, Alice. See the sculpted picture sculpted pitcher above the entrance? That's the mark of Thaliac, the scholar. Bearer of waters of knowledge. It's no exaggeration to say Charlene itself is one enormous shrine to him, and that's especially noticeable here in the studio. Hold on a second. It feels like only yesterday that I first walked through these doors. Here it is, Phenomenon. Well, I expect you made note of it before. One could hardly miss it. This is the first time you've been here on official no business, correct? Yes. Oh god, my monitor just went black again. What is going on here? Arthas, are you hitting it with your tail? <gasps> you are! Arthas! <laughs> Silly butt. Hold on a second. Apparently, my cables are loose. My little Arthikins is whacking it with his tail, <laughs> making my screen go black. <laughs> Feels like that's just gonna be a little bit loose. <laughs> Ow. Ugh. <sighs> well, most of the space is taken up by expansive auditoriums, it also houses numerous laboratories, testing grounds for experimental magics, and hosts of administrative offices, and so forth. You want to come up here, Pooper? I know, you want treats. As the center of what would later become the studium, it was established to promote the study of etherological phenomenon, hence the name. Though with ether being a fundamental aspect of nature, its scope expanded to include every conceivable conceivable facet of life, even the universe itself. And then, in the 432nd year of the 6th Astral Era, Phenomenon was decreed complete and the studium officially opened as a place of learning. With a long and storied history, it is without question the world's leading authority in ethereology. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Who wants to say hi to stream? You very much do not, but can you do that for me? Can you... <laughs> can you look? Up? No? You just want to go down? <laughs> Silly butt. With a long and storied his uh, history, it is without, without question the world's leading authority in etherology. The arcane, the occult, astromancy, and countless other fields standing proud as... Charlene's foremost educational institute. Wait, do they have multiple educational institutes? I mean, all their institutes are educational. But, like... Are they making fun of them? <laughs> you always did enjoy giving the grand tour to students. Indeed, I've long since lost track of how many times he's recited that same foppish speech, such as his undying love for his old stamping ground. He was in top form back then. Youngest to enter the studium. Arthas, you're in the way. Get your face out of my tomato juice. I don't think you want it. Youngest to enter the studium. Graduated I highest honors in magical art. Arthas, you're really in the way. Okay, thank you. An etherology, an undisputed champion of the debating chamber. Hold on. You both joined the studium at the same age, yes? And from where I stand, you're equally prodigious scholars. Wait, if Alphano was the youngest, does that mean Alice is actually older than her, older than him? Did I know that? I'm sure that's come up before. Now, 
Nice of you to say, but Alphano actually entered half a year before me, nor did I do s well in- oh, okay. Alphano just started before, so Alphano might- she might be younger than Alphano. Nor did I do well enough to graduate with honors, and I'm certainly not the studium's most notorious master debater. In all respects I have ever been in his shadow, if nothing else, just remember that this was where the legend of Alphano Levaire began. We should expect everyone to be fully aware of our recent escapades. Hopefully we'll be somewhat more welcome here than we were at the last stand. I know better than anyone the adoration the studi bo student body has for Alphano. With a bit of luck, it might work to our advantage. Well, there's no time like the present. First things first, let's look for scholar Kamontashane. Our other faculty tend to frequent their offices. But unfortunately for us, he's oft fond of wandering wheresoever his winds take him. Let's split up and ask the students if they've seen him. Mm. Excitable student. That was Alphano Levayer, wasn't it? THE Alphano Levayer! And he's with his sister, and Master Baldessian's granddaughter. This can only mean one thing. An event of epic sha- Epoch? I think they pronounce it epic in the States, and epoch in... in not the States. Um, but I feel like... It's supposed to be epic, shattering proportions in this contents. Is fast approaching. Spread the word. Sorry, I went into too much. That was irrelevant. Oh, sorry you said you're looking for the scholar, yes? Knowing him, he could be anywhere. But Miss Aliapo should have a better idea. You'd think he'd be more excited to see me, too. Do you know who I am? He doesn't. They don't know who I am. That's fair. But I'm more important than any of them. Although I suppose... They're famous at the school, and I'm just famous everywhere. Uh, Miss Aliapo might have a better idea. Where's Miss Aliapo? Oh, Alphano's over here. And Alice. Oh, he's being cheered on. It's Alphano himself in the flesh. He spoke to me. He actually spoke to me. I assure you, I tell you all about it after my business with the scholar has concluded. The scholar? Tell me, my good fellow. Does this have something to do with saving the world from catastrophe? Might we turn our attention to Master Levi's graduation thesis? I too have my doubts regarding our policy of non-intervention. Is it true that your experience overseas are the reason you have incurred the ire of the forum? Oh, what I wouldn't give to see you buttheads with those old codgers. <laughs> Alpha knows a little, uh... Oh, well, Alice has her, her fan club too, apparently. They don't seem all that concerned to talk about her. Things are bad enough during our school days, and Alphano's time abroad has only heightened his fame. Or should it be infamy? He had his rivals and detractors, of course, though most of them gave up after his adoring fans set upon them like ravenous dogs. Alphano, on the other hand, never paid them much notice, and they were simply beneath him. Are you actually talking to these people? Alright, where am I? Where am I going? Aliabo. Are you lost? Wandering off the street, perhaps? Wait, don't tell me. You're a trainee gleaner, fresh off of the guild ship. I'm right, aren't I? Oh, how silly of me. An orientation is in order. Ahem, allow me to bid you a warm welcome to the searcher's meet. Let me start with a question. What is the most important thing you'll find in this studium? That's right, books! And what's the second most important? Why, that's simple. Everything else. <laughs> that's what we deal... <laughs> that's what we deal here in the searchers meet. Whenever the students or tutors find themselves in need of equipment or materials, they come to us. If we don't have it in our stores, we'll send the gleaners off to find it. Honestly, you wouldn't believe some of the requests we get. Eye of pace of this, tongue of giganto that. It's enough to make your hair stand on end, which is possibly what some of the students are trying to accomplish. This being a school of magic and all. 
As our newest gleaner, you'll have your work cut out for you, but I think you'll find it quite, quite rewarding. <laughs> Ari's just like, uh... No, from far away she looked more. The only thing I'm interested in gleaning is information on the scholar's whereabouts. I've tracked down many miscellaneous knickknacks in my time, but I'm no gleaner. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with that way. So what you're telling me is you're not a gleaner. Yes, that's exactly what you said, isn't it? And you're looking for the scholars. I'm afraid we don't have any of those in stock. But I can... Oh, you mean him! He was here, but now he's not. I did speak with him shortly before you arrived, though. He said he was on his way to Maker's Meet. Go back the way you came in and you'll see it on the opposite side of the entrance. It's a laboratory of sorts, home to many rare and expensive curios, not to mention alarmingly frequent accidents. If you lose your way, just follow the blood-curdling screams. Ha! In the time it's taken me to tell you all this, the scholar has probably already left. Best of luck in finding him. I have a feeling you'll need it. Alright. Back the way I came. Through here. Here. In here. Level headed student. Yes, the scholar was here a short while ago. He offered me advice on my current research project. Though he spoke at length, I don't recall him mentioning where he was planning to go next. When we parted ways, he went down the corridor. Perhaps to one of the auditoriums? Just where I came from. <sighs> no, it's not. Oh, I found him. That was easy. Ah, I remember you. I bet you do. I pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, I. But a majority nonetheless. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. My affair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. <laughs> Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. If I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty that the Forum must fulfill? Well, aren't you bold to say right asking Alpha now? Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the Forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. Our duty is of the gravest importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, it would incite widespread panic. Does he mean literally can't? Because there was that guy who tried to say something at the Forum and was like, strangled. And I thought somebody was using the force on him, but no one seemed to be. 
So maybe it's just like a spell that prevents them from speaking of it. As such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment which prevents us from speaking of such matters without the express permission of the Forum. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. We shall begin by reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? The body. Corporeal <laughs> ether. Corporeal ether, sure. Magic? Yes. Very oh. good. I don't look dumb. This is the form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even the simplest of daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us, this form of ether is in constant flux. In contrast, the ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same can be said for memory, as the two are intrinsically linked. Picture the soul as paper, and memories as words written upon it. Welcome to the... Is it studio? Those are some weird letters. <sighs> now, what would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. Excuse me. It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. We would be unable to recall the memories. And any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? The Seventh Umbral Calamity. <coughs> the people of Eorzea vividly recall Bahamut breaking free of the Lesser Moon and raining hellfire down upon the realm. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed immediately afterwards. <coughs> Indeed, to this day we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. The enchantment which binds me and the rest of the Forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlien prohibition against the practice of memory manipulation. Only when a new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. A necessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace. If you say so. I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? 
If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. So they... Can they not talk about it, or can they literally not remember what it is? Barring that... I think they must... We must wait until we return to the Ethereal Sea. I would think they must remember what it is. <sighs> For there we will be purified, the blots upon our souls washed clean. And our memories drift apart and dissolve. Rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls, some believe. What happens after that? We are reduced to pure ether, coalesce with that of others, and create souls anew. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. Both theories have their proponents. Personally, I consider each equally probable. I look shook. Well, I think that's enough education for today. Now that I've given you some food for thought. Or rather, an entire banquet. What did he say that just, like, had Ari so horrified? Uh, oh, alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. Okay, he's sort of talking about um, sundering and unsundered and Asian garbage. Although, maybe it applies to everybody. And isn't just assy and garbage. I would remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of Phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Baldessian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Yay. Oh, and I suggest you speak with Ki Aliapo. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits, wheresoever they may take you. Granted, run a phenomenon. If you're a game, Key Aliapo will put your artistry to good use. <sighs> good grief. Why is somebody putting an earthly star here? Oh, whoops. Somewhere in here is another. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I thought I was going. Some of my earliest memories of this are of Scholar Martin to Shane, actually. He was a close friend of our grandfather. He would come for tea and amaze us with his tricks, much like his demonstration with the paper and ink. He's a huge part of why I wanted to enter the studio in, a hu in the first place. While Scholar Montechain is best known for his role as the head of the studio, he is said to be one of the finest mages Charlene has ever produced. Having seen for myself the ease with which he weaves extraordinarily complex and powerful magics, I see no reason to doubt the claim. 
A capital idea. Carl is still digesting a rather hefty portion of food for thought. Well, that's given me much to mull over. I feel as though we're one step closer to understanding the forum's true motives and the mysteries of life itself for good measure. It's funny, I came here with the intent of expressing my gratitude, only to leave more indebted than before. I have a feeling his friendship and support will be a great boon to us in the days to come. And on that note, let's head back to the Annex. Perhaps on the way, you could better acquaint yourself with Kialiapo, as the scholar suggested. Well, I share our findings with Raha. <sighs> That's just to unlock... Cast... Cra crafter stuff it sounds like but yeah it's red because I need to be on a crafter class I bet let's see what it says yeah but I don't want to deal with that just yet Tired. I'm gonna need to wrap it up soon because I need to run out and buy a card for my dad before I go over to my mom's for dinner I think which that shouldn't take too long but I don't know what time my mom's expecting me for dinner I actually think she's expecting me closer to 5:30. Nope, can't get on a mount in which case I probably can just leave at 5 but I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick around for another like 15 minutes and then wrap up. This is kind of my plan. And then stream tomorrow. Oh, I could have teleported. Stream tomorrow will be whenever I wake up and I'm ready. I'm not gonna set an alarm. I'm just gonna sleep and try to get. Um... Oh, do they want me in here? <laughs> try to get as much sleep as I can because I'm a little tired after today and the day's not over. It seems I've done an adequate job of relaying Scholar Montaigne's lecture to Raha. Given his experience in the field of souls and memories, he had no trouble understanding it. Oh, you better not let your guard down around the key. One small favor becomes another, then another, and before you know it, you'll be running <laughs> to the other side of the world in search of a bottle of wine or some other rubbish. Then again, it might make for a welcome change of pace from your us usual heroics. And as the Scholar said, it could also lead to interesting discoveries. Estinian returned not long after we departed for the studium. A shame that he missed the chance to attend our lecture with the scholar. Or oh, perhaps not. Yeah, he's probably not that upset about it. Having spent most of the time in Thavnir, I've yet to fully grasp the lie of the land here in Charlayan. Even finding my way to the annex proved a challenge. Oh, welcome back. From what I hear, your trip to the studium proved most educational. While you were away, I received word from our fellow scions. As expected, news of the warding scales was met with much joy. Preparations are now underway to bring the leadership of the Grand Company and Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance together to determine a way forward. Our friends have asked that we bring the scales in our possession to Lim Silaminsa. That's weird. So, has the time come for us to go on the offensive? It's too early to say for certain, but that does seem to be the way the winds are blowing. I, for one, can think of no reason to oppose such a plan, but let us see what awaits us in Vilbrand. Let's start by getting the scales out of storage. Give me a hand, would you, Estinian? I mean, didn't we literally just put them into storage? It's not been that long. I didn't realize these crates were so heavy. I mean, they're full of dragon scales. I shouldn't complain, though. Virtue and the alchemists of the great work put their heart and soul into each and every one of these scales, so you must treat them with the utmost care. Are you not coming with us? As much as I would like to escape the forum's watchful gaze, I have little choice but to stay behind. We're already on thin ice, and if I, in my capacity as our official representative, were found to be consorting with foreign powers, well, you can imagine how well that would go. 
I shall remain here and do my utmost to avoid ruffling any more feathers as I await word from Master Matoya and our other allies. With luck, we'll soon have good news of our own to share. The tide's about to turn, I can feel it. To Limsalaminsa. If you learn aught of interest, be sure to let me know. In the meantime, I will do what I can to aid our cause, though I fear I will be precious little given the circumstances. Alright, I'm going to Limsa. Alright. Oh my goodness. How did I do 12 hours previously and then another 3 hours in the evening? Or did I not do it the first night? Maybe I didn't do my 3 hours in the evening the first night. I feel like I, I did. I don't know. All the expansions blend together. It's hard to remember exactly what I did <laughs> on day one. I don't know what he said, and I honestly don't care. I'm sure it wasn't important. <laughs> we can see. Uh, shall I show you in three of the most powerful women in the world? <clears throat> oh, these three. My apologies for calling you away from Charlie on such short notice. On the contrary, we are honored and grateful and pleasantly surprised to be joined by such esteemed company. It was only right that this discussion be conducted in person. We are locked in a war of attrition. Our forces struggle to contain the threat posed by the towers, and it is only a matter of time before we are overwhelmed. Victory will only be claimed through decisive action, and we have taken the initiative to set the wheels in motion. It is reassuring to learn we are all in accord. But might I ask what your plan entails? It hinges entirely on the warding scales and our ability to utilize their potential to the fullest. During your time in Charlian, the Allied Nations have been engaged on separate fronts, with no end in sight. To make matters worse, a surge in abductions of kobolds, Sahagans, Ixil, and Amanta have given rise to an increasing number of primals as well. But your triumph and routes at hand has given us cause to hope once more. The time has come to free ourselves of this menace. And it is you, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, who have shown us the way. With the bulk of our forces, the bulk of our for well, blah, 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 all right, let's try this again. While the bulk of our forces will continue to hold the Talafaray at bay, we will dispatch our finest to strike at the enemy's heart, Garlemald. These brave few will be the Ilzabard contingent. To think such progress has been made in so sh so short a span. Hello, Arthas. Its objectives are twofold. The first is to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. As previously reported, countless Imperial soldiers and civilians have been tempered, robbed of their free will. They serve the Telophoroi's every whim without question. Whoops. <clears throat> they too are victims. It is our duty to deliver them from their suffering, not for strategic or political gain, but because it is the right thing to do. I do not ask that we set aside decades of conflict and conquest, that we simply choose to forgive and forget. I ask only that in choosing to remember, we do not also forsake our compassion and morality, for without that, there can be no reconciliation, only death without end. <sighs> Aye, on that we can all agree. Our second objective is the colossal tower that Thancred and Uriange observed in the capital. Though its purpose remains unclear, there's reason to believe that smaller spires are merely a precursor of what is yet to come. Until the Tower of Zot was toppled, we'd failed to make any headway through the same. Though the same could be said of the Telophoroi, they are certainly in no rush to press further into our lands. I'd wager the spire's primary purpose is to divide and keep us occupied while they work towards our annihilation. This would appear to be substantiated by Ishtola's analysis of the tower's influence on ethereal currents. Based on her observation in inside the Tower of Zot, the spires siphon aether from the land, consuming it to maintain their form. However, they draw forth far more than is required for this task alone. 
The excess of ether remains unaccounted for, but we can be sure it is not being harnessed for our benefit. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if it was being redirected to a larger spire in the capital. There's a logic in that. Regardless, once we have uncovered the truth, we'll bring their schemes crashing down along with their infernal towers. Estinian's like, I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's all well and good, but what would you have us do? Assuming it's more than handing over the scales and being on our way. Arthas, was that you I was poking down there? Hello. Are we going to Garlemald? We want you and your scales to join the Ilspard contingent. Consider an official request from both the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance. Do you accept? Yes. Perhaps you should be the one to answer that. I mean, can we say... For honor and glory for the people of Garlemald, for revenge against the Tlaferoi. Um, yeah, for revenge. Couldn't have put it better myself. Yashola, Thancred, and Uriange have already pledged their support and are on their way to meet the rest of the contingent. They were positive you would come to the same decision as they did. Luckily for all involved, their prediction was correct. Once you have delivered the warding scales to Alamigo, the contingent will embark on its journey to Ilzebard. Raubon and Lord Amaric are overseeing preparations, so I suggest you make yourself known upon arrival. Pack warm clothing, furs, and the like. Without it, the cold. Oh god, Ari's running around with her, uh, her whole side out. Without it, the cold will keep you and <laughs> will do you in before the Talaferoi so much as draw steel. As for us, we'll keep the enemy busy while you're gone. They're not the only ones who can create a diversion. Now go, safe in the knowledge Eorzea will be as you left it, or better, upon your return. <sighs> well, that seems like probably a decent time to call it a day. Um, what I want to do, though, is... Where is it? Wait, am I lost? Oh, yeah, I totally went the wrong way. <laughs> when I go to the inn and check... It, actually, no, I need a marker board. That's what I need. Um, I've got a couple minutes that I want to see about a new glamour. Because, yes, if I'm going somewhere cold, maybe I should put some more clothes on. Just maybe. Just a thought. Um, but only if I can find something cool. So I'm actually kind of curious what new... Um, new crafted stuff is is available um, this looks dumb also it doesn't exist and then this I have I mean that does look warm and toasty um, have there been any like new low-level stuff This is not new. What is this stuff? Oh, that could be cute. I gotta put on Christmas stuff. It's not really too early to go with a Christmas glamour. But I don't know that I want to wear Christmas glamour forever. Let's see what we got down here. None of this looks new. That's probably stuff's not made it to the market board yet. <clears throat> a poncho? Some of this stuff's super old, but like I've just never, never glamoured it, so it's still kind of exciting to me. Oh, an adventuring sweater. I 
I kind of want to go with this. What does the sweater cost these days? 71k. That's This is the one that uh, has the thing, right? Yeah. Let's grab one of these. And then... <sighs> to the aft castle. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. There's an in room in here, right? I don't usually spend a lot of time in Limsa. But there should be an inn in all the uh, all the adventure skills, and indeed there is. All right, I need a glamour dresser. We need uh, actually. Uh, Um, I actually wanted, not that, this, this to go in, and I don't suppose I have more space to, oh, I've got two spaces, Blah! wait, when did I get this? I don't think I have one of these, I got some put it in too, I don't know when I got it. Uh, alright. Yeah, I didn't have one. Alright. Oh no! I already had one of these. Oh no. Restore. Can I still sell it? Uh. Not what I need. I need my armory chest. No, it's bind bound. What if I restore? Are they both bound? Yeah. Damn it. Well, that's. I should have searched. Why didn't I search? Ah. <sighs> Why didn't I search? Alright, I want to make a new glamour. Which one do we want to overwrite? Probably like any of these. Mm, this one, because it's not even full. Uh, what do we got? I wanted to go with a sweater. Hands, we'll just do this. Boots. I don't know what we'll do for boots. Let's go with this for now. I need something a little bit longer for my legs. Do I have any actual pants? This looks so awful when you put boots on. something in the armoire. Healer cool up. That doesn't even do anything. Just wear some jeans. I don't know. I just don't like pants. They just don't look good on Ari. I don't know what pants I'd wear. 
We're gonna go with a different body because I just I have no pants to go with that. What do we have that is kind of cold like? Ooh, I could dress like Ishola. See white mage stuff. Which I'm currently wearing. I could go with this. It does look very warm. Oh, my mess is running away on me. I could do this one. This one with like white dye on it is pretty cool. Actually, I wonder how would that look with like a really light blue? Mm, it's kind of weird. <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh, this is getting antsy. I need to get going though. I can't spend much time. I'm not going to be able to come up with a glamour. Well, that'll be warm. Ooh, that might be nice to do. I wish the collar didn't come up quite so high. Um, Arthas. What's your bitch? I wish this died. I wish it could be a swan. Alright, I gotta hop off. Yeah, I got no changes. Alright, I am gonna head head off. <laughs> head to bed. <laughs> I made it for 13 and a half hours my stream, which an hour and a half of that was trying to log in, basically. <laughs> well, half an hour waiting for the patch, an hour trying to log in. So we got in 12, 12 solid hours of playing, minus all my copious breaks, which <laughs> probably equaled an hour. As I said, tomorrow I'll definitely sleep in, so I will start streaming. It, tomorrow's just gonna be like, I'll start whenever I feel like it and finish whenever I feel like it, so I don't really have a plan. And then Sunday I'll see about getting on a regular schedule, and Monday for sure I'll be here from, uh, I'm not sure if I wanna start at nine or 9.30, I'm probably gonna do 9.30 um, throughout the week, just cause I find it a little bit difficult to be ready quite for nine. Um, so 9.30 just gives me a little bit more time to work with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your end walkering. Have a good rest of your Friday night. Have a good Saturday morning because I probably won't be here until sometime in the afternoon. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.